Hello, hello, everybody. We are continuing this wonderful game. Absolutely love it. Come along, Amy. We are going. I also discovered that there were some new digs in the mystery gift. Mainly because I never really checked the mystery gift, ever. Because I never play in Pokemon games when they're new. And never really checked the mystery gift anyway, but I did, and hey, this is a cool outfit. So I'm gonna wear it. Before we go out, let's just double, triple check. Don't think there's anything new, 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 new to do, to do, do, do. Let's quickly check our requests. It wants, uh, oh, well, check that out because, and then we need to find Chirim around and about. So we'll definitely check that, see if we can find, oh, we can craft the Pokey Dolls. Yes, yes, yes. All right, so more Buzels, Zub we need to check the Zubats and uh, see if we can find any Chirims. But first I'm gonna go make some Pokey Dolls, or at least a Pokey Doll for this man. Since we finally have the wood. Pokishi doll. You put it in your satchel. Hmm? What's this? Why, that's a Pokishi doll if I ever saw one. Please, let me have a closer look. Amazing! Just look how smoothly you've carved these curves. Your attentive carving shows you put love and care into your handiwork. And these colors, you've definitely given it a vivid look, that's for sure. Yes, these hues must be the very shades of your inner strength and passion. Not to mention, the Pukiji doll is perfectly balanced. At a glance, you'd think it's sure to fall over, and yet it stubbornly remains upright. Oh, thank you. I've savored your Pukiji doll to my heart's content. We use the same recipe, and yet your Pokishi doll has a completely different feel than mine. It's only wood! It's just like, yes, this recipe is just eggs, and yet our eggs came out completely different. My dude, I don't think you know what goes into a doll. Here, I'll give you a Pokishi doll I made. Took great care in crafting it, so have a look and see how it differs from the one you made. All right, let's take a look at the Pokishi dolls. My, they're so different. <laughs> I won't, I won't sell them. I'll just put them away on a shelf for all of time. Also, that guy sells knives. I'm surprised nobody's tried to stab. Is that just? Yeah, I know. I've been looking at this. Is that a? I just wanted to make sure that wasn't a modern day briefcase, because it's just like passing by. It just looked like it. But yes, we are continuing this game because I love it. It's a fantastic game. You just, uh, I love it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make the light better. Perfect ambience. Wonderful ambience. Now, what's this about Zubat eyes? Please don't ask me to pluck out Zubat eyes. I'm not a murderer. Hi, Clarissa of the Security Corps. That's me. Thanks so much for taking on my request. I need you to catch a Zubat and show it to me so I can take a look at its eyes. Odd request, I know, but I've got good reason for it. Zubat never seem to have trouble flying around in pitch darkness. That means their night vision must be top-notch. If I could learn how they see in the dark like them, night shifts on guard duty would be a breeze. It's echolocation. It's echolocation. <laughs> so I'm counting on your help. Catch a Zubat and come show it to me, would you? I've already, uh, uh, yeah, I caught a Zubat. I caught him back to back. Let's see. We can have this level 9 one. Wait. Huh. Go ahead. Oh, I need to bring the Abra! I need to bring the Abra! I'll just take a look at the, these peepers, if you please, Zubat. It has no eyes. Huh? Where are the eyes on this little guy? Don't tell me it doesn't even have eyes? But, but that means Zubat flies around all while being completely blind! Hmm, Zubat must have some other kind of secret sense if it doesn't even need eyes. I just love that she's talking all about this while holding a giant mug. I'm sure it's a lantern, but it looks like a mug. 
Ah, that's amazing all, but it hardly helps me. What am I going to do about my nighttime shifts on guard duty? Get a partner Zubat? Oh, that's a good idea. No need for me to go, out, go it alone after all. A little help would be great. That's it then. I'll get out there and find a Zubat that can help me as my partner. Thanks for the great advice. I'm just gonna slowly get... <laughs> trick people into having <laughs> Pokemon as their partners. I am the Pokemon propagandist. Huh, and since I leveled up Bib Barrel and evolved it, I'm gonna bring out Abra. Yes, I would like to trade this Bibberol in and swap it out for this Abra. It only notes teleport. I wonder if I can use teleport out of battle. <laughs> and it seems to know strong style. <laughs> and <laughs> strong style teleport. I love the different sounds and stuff. In fact, I'm going to raise my own audio. I raised it on the capture, so hopefully hopefully it sounds good there. Change moves. The user switches places with a party Pokémon waiting. If there is any able to battle, if a wild Pokémon uses this move, it flees. Oh, I can't teleport it out and about, but I guess it makes sense. We have fast travel. I'll have to think of names for all my Pokemon. And now we're going to go and see if Abra can learn any moves. Or, we'll, or if we'll have to grind a bit for him. And I should also make more Pokeballs. And Heavy Balls. I won't be able to make any... Feather Balls just yet. Whoop! Oh, it's me. I have a... Uh, can you punch some psychic moves into my Abra? Select Swift Try Attack. Strikes a simultaneous three beam attack. This may also leave the target of burn paralysis or frostbite. Hmm. I guess I'll get you try attack so you have something. And it's also a decent power move. Even if it is normal. Oh, wait, and I leveled up my dude, uh, evolved my dude. Let's see if Robin can learn any new moves. Nope, it's just a magical leaf. Hmm. Do I want to get you magical leaf? I don't know. I'll stick around with my normal right now. And I'll do it for now. And... What shall we name you? I named... I forget... What was my first one's name? Goblin. Or Gremlin. Goblin. We we named our first Abra Goblin. Our second Abra Merlin. Across the yellow and crystal. What will you be named? I will name you Arthur. So if King Arthur became Merlin's apprentice... Uh, what will your name be, Beusel? Hmm. I'll call you Jet. Even though Jets don't exist right now. <laughs> Jets do not exist at this point in time. And now with... Oh, yeah. Oh, I keep... My brain is going in five million different places. I'll quickly come over here and stare at the crafting station. So that I remember. Oh, yes. Crafting. But then let's see. Now, let's put that on and see if we can... Nope, it's just pointing to him. And not the chair I'm out there. Maybe if we leave, it'll point. We'll have to see. I don't think I have... I do not believe that I have any cherim at all. And then I need to put stuff away. But wait, we don't have to go into my house because there's a box at every field camp. So I can just put stuff away there. Waha! Genius. 
I want to, when we get into the field, I want to test something. But as per usual, I'll go to the field lands camp. So I can just look on the different Pokemon, because I think the guy said that there was a Cherim out here. Alright, now let's see. Medicinal Link, uh, I'll keep that with me, put these away. Ox Power, sharply boosts the offensive stats of a Pokemon. And Jesus Christ, I do not have that many. Uh, springy, put you away. Hmm. I'm trying to find a decent, like, number of these things. Because we're just going to get more black tumble stones. There's no real point. I guess I'll move all the berries temporarily. Hmm. Move the bar, the mud. I've yet to have much use for you, and you'll take up a bit of space, so move you away. I really will have to put my budget towards increasing my my inventory. I basically have a second satchel in there, and it's still not enough. All right, go Abra. Give me that medicinal leak. I want to see something. Can I have multiple Pokemon out at the same time? I can! I love that. So I'm guessing that's how they expect you to get, like, photos with your Pokemon. Hmm. Let me quickly check and see. How many Shinx stuff do we still have? Uh, we've completed you. Luxio, duh, because we only did a be. I guess look for Eevee and Ponyta out there. Eevee was kind of around out here. Give me that. Not too far away. I find it funny that Pokeballs have like a sharp drop off. They fly and then completely fall. I just need to keep a lookout for. Just about. For the Eevees. If I can get a ton of Eevees, I'll be super happy. Flee from me! Flee! Flee my mighty power of grinding my Abra so that he can level up good into an Alakazam, hopefully. Then again, trading is in this game, apparently, from the Lost or Found post. Hmm. What do you have to say? Have a rest of the tent. You can also pass the time. Hmm. So resting probably heals Pokemon and passes the time. I'm just trying to remember where I ran into the Eevees. I know they're out here somewhere. Oh, it seemed like that Wurmple was glowing far, far away. So I thought, is that a Pokemon? Is that a special Pokemon? All right. See if I can get close enough to quick scan. Let's see. Uh huh. Times you've seen it use Ember. So we can do a lot if we throw a Pokemon out and defeat it with Buzel. Jet, go! I want to see it use Ember. Oh, it's only level 3, so it's probably going to run. Never mind. Finish it with Aqua Jet, quickly. I don't know why you have to constantly show your crotch to the enemy, but you do you, Jet. Yeah, I could have sworn the end is the giant Rapidash of Doom. So, yeah, that basically confirms that those guys are 
eternal and will be there until you catch them. They're like mini legendary Pokemon. That reminds me of like the giant... Oh my god, this is kind of tying into the anime. Because wasn't there an episode in the anime where Ash and Friends go to a lighthouse and there was like a giant kaiju Dragonite? Like, what if this ties into that? Are we in the world of the anime <laughs> instead of the games? What the? What are you? Change. I'm Junior. What the hell? What are you doing here, you, you little munchkin? Throw the heavy ball. Come to me! I thought it was a wormhole. Okay! I thought that was a wormhole. And then I saw it use a psychic attack, and I was immediately just. What? <laughs> Did not expect that. We can't really go that way because we don't have a... We don't know how to swim. Yeah, just all over this place are wormhole. How was I supposed to know a frickin' my junior was gonna pop up? Hiding in the grass at that. Is gonna come that I'm going to have to. Let's see. I haven't caught any large specimens. I guess I could send out Luxio. Go, Blitz! Thundershock. Fine. You seem like on the small side. Oh, I didn't put it on. Darn. Fine then, Will. We'll swap the blitz. I forgot to put on the the move. My bad. Let's see what happens when I use edge style. I just want to know. I'll still kill because it's like level two. What I really need to do, maybe, is bring about a my biggest Buzel so that I can, like, have an, a constant on-hand reference. Is that... That looks like a giant Bidoof. But it was probably just... I don't know. Are you a big Bidoof? You look actually kind of decently sized, my dude. And I got an Orenberry for my trouble. <laughs> you give me a Pokeball home, I give you Orenberry. Hello, Fidu. That's a funky Buzel. your impending doom. Yeah, just need to catch them at random. Pray that one of them is a big, a big boy. A big boy. Do we smash this or is this not smash? The top kind of looks cut, so I didn't know. Uh, huh. Oh, that's a Starly. I thought it, it looked a bit weird. No, it's just a Starly. Don't worry. Huh? 
And I keep forgetting. I need to put a move on to... I got you a move. I need to give you the move. Try attack. There we go. Still kind of funny that it's normal despite being able to afflict status effects. But hey, what do you know? I think that Buzel tried to kill me. How rude. <laughs> There were no Eevee. Eh? You wanna fight? We'll have Abra fight you. Try attack. It's only a 10. Oh, that's a cool animation. That's a cool animation. Grit dust. I still wanna explore this side. Let's check the map. Huh. And somebody is satchel. So I guess let's see if we can go get that satchel on this side. And I guess maybe check out that island? Well, at least the entry to the island. Feels like there's no bloody way. Of course, I think this is going to take us across that Luxio that is just fucking baller gonna eat your soul. Level three. Just gotta get all these tumble stones. Or not tumble, uh, yeah, something stone. Wait, is this, this is going... I don't think we can make it. Yeah. I think they put that there's a can you dive across? I can probably dive across. Yeah. But this is gonna lead me to the fucking Snorlax of Doom! I'm scared, because it's a Snorlax of Doom. Uh-oh. Uh... -oh. uh that's a level 29. Uh, we're gonna run. I thought it was gonna be just a, Okay, at least that told me. Yes, even the normal Pokemon are scary, so... I'm guessing that that satchel belonged to uh, a fool like me. Except they got body slammed by a Snorlax. Okay, with that plan out of the way, death zone, no, I guess let's try and go to the garden past the nightmare sh Shinx evolution. You see nothing. And it's gonna get. Oh, mm, I should probably check my Pokedex to see when we found uh, Eevee running about. Hey, Wood. We'll have to keep to the outskirts because. Scary as hell, Luxio's out here somewhere. You didn't see any. Yes, yes, you're a demon of nightmares and want my blood. I know it's kind of looking at me, but it's not coming for me, and that's all that matters. I wonder if I can level up. If my Pokemon can level up, surely I can... Pichu? Okay, that was close. I forgot these are super heavy balls. You bastard! Come on, Pichu, come with me. Thank you, Pichu. Ooh, 
Ooh, a butterfly. So at least I'll be able to catch that. Maybe, unless it's like a super powerful butterfly. I mean, it shouldn't be like angry. It shouldn't be an angry Pokemon. It's a butterfly. Hello. Level 21 and it's angry. I thought it would be nice, but it ain't. You go slightly off the beaten path. And those are dust up. Let me guess, probably also super angry. Level 18, so not that far. So I guess that's not terrible. Anyway. And I guess the dust ox came out because it was nighttime. Hello, Drifloon. And there's a cascoon. And the nightmare monster still out and about. I just wanted to explore that area. And at least now I know where those Pokemon are, even if they're a bit out of my ability right now. And uh, just a drip loon, and I think I completed them. <laughs> Iron chunk. I love that you can just kind of wander around and find so many different things. I wonder how many Pokemon are in this game. Considering this entire game's point is just Oh, for a moment I thought I was like, is that an Eldritch Shrine? No, it's just uh, the professor at the camp. I guess uh, I'm going to quickly check and see. Eevee, Eevee, Eevee. Where are... Eevee Habitat. Horseshoe Plains. Horseshoe Plains. So let me check my map. Yeah, Horseshoe Plains. But at what time did we... Did it say? Horseshoe Plains, but... No favorite conditions just yet. Probably because we needed more information. Almost threw an empty Pokeball. Woohoo! Because I think we found Eevee around evening time. Still kind of uh, late in the day, but not night time. Yes, 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 you're an angry, angry gypsy. Drift alone. Hello, Bidoof. Because I only think I saw two Eevees. I mean, granted, that's better than my record with frickin' Mr. Mime Jr. Saw a single Mime Jr. and it almost got away. Hmm, Rapidash. Have we, uh, let's take a look. Change to you. Dang it. Uh, da, da, da. Still want to see it use Ember. Fight me. It's a bit of a stronger, so. Swift, uh, swift, uh, quick attack. Use Ember, please. Yay! Exactly what I was looking for. Thank you kindly. 
still don't know why you have to show your crotch to the enemy every single time, Jet. Hmm. That's level 40. So yeah, definitely don't want to try. Jet would need to be have. I would want both, like, at least two Pokemon that were of similar level to even try. If it were, like, just a normal Pokemon that was level 40, I'd want, like, I don't know, a level 35 Pokemon at least to beat it up. But when it comes to uh, the angry Pokemon, I want to have a decent... Uh, level advantage, even if that's just by number. Yeah, you don't look that big. Well, I guess we'll cross the bridge again. Let's see. Where have we explored on this side of the bridge? Because I think I saw some pretty scary Pokemon, and... Uh, I don't think we got that far. I think that's where the the bug monster was. So yeah, I understand if somebody died there. Prosperity. I wonder if you're just uh, an NPC satchel or if somebody actually died there. Considering that's where I assume giant Pokemon to be, or at least a high-level Pokemon to be, I could see it being an actual person of doom. I can see people just dying all over. Hmm, let's see. Number evolved. I haven't seen, but I do need to give you food. All right, right away. We'll get another one, food. Have food. Let's check you again. Anything else? Number defeated. So I was feeding you, you dibbity do. Try and psychic me all you want, or confuse me all you want. But I'm already confused. You can't confuse me. I'm already confused. Just like you can't set me on fire, I'm already on fire. Anything about you? Rock type. Do we have any rock type? Do we have even a rock type move? I don't think we have rock type moves. Oh, you're in luck. I'll leave you alone. Or do we? Definitely not you. No, no, no. Nope, no rock moves. Mm. Weird. You want to fight, you jerks? Fine. Leafage, destroy it in one go. Ah, critical hit today. I still find it hilarious that. Probably should have looked at that. I'm just dumb. Strong style gun. I need to look at the... This is the game that makes it easier than ever to look and be like, hmm, is this super effective? The answer is yes. Idiot. I shall take a rest. I guess till morning. And hope that it heals my Pokemon. Ah, rest and all happy and healthy again. Woot woot. All right. Guess there's no real reason to... I guess maybe I'll head over the hill and look for that lost satchel to earn some lost and found points. And quiver in fear at what might have killed them. Don't 
don't want to fight you. I want that plant. Oh, yeah. There's a big angry... Or maybe they just fell. They could have just fell. But, yeah, that, uh... Diddly D, a giant... Not Paris. It's the other one. And you. What do we need to do with you? Seen it use rollout, heavy specimens, grass type, and water type. Uh, I guess we can beat with Fusel. Go Jet! He was about to use rollout on me. Use Aqua Jet, and it won't even lose its position if it lives. It's hard to tell the size of these Pokemon. Like, either they're, like, average for their own being. I forget what level you were. I'm just going to assume 30. By the way, you scare me. You don't see anything. I'll assume you're caught. Ah, heavy specimen. I wanted to throw my Pokemon at that, but you were getting in the way. But yeah, not going down the death hole this time. Hey, let's see if we can beat you up. We need to defeat one of you. Nope, it ran away. Is that Pikachu? Uh, I have no Pokemon that's decent against uh, an electric type. I love that they're using the classic. No, not you. You. Yes! Dang it. It's a female Pikachu at that. I can actually tell because of the tail. You bastard. I have a heavy ball for you. Get in it. Alright, uh, I guess I'll send out Luxio. Because he can resist the electric attacks. Since we go twice, we'll use one bite. Wow, that's perfect. Heavy ball. Ah. It did not like that. Oh, well, maybe you like a normal Pokeball? No wrong. Ay, ay, ay. My brain. My brain is just like button, button, button. Don't make me send out Robin to false swipe you. Even though it probably wouldn't do anything but tick you off. Booyah. Light specimens. That's interesting. Oh, I forgot that was jumping up around. Come back, King Arthur. Go ahead and beat it up with strong style Aqua Jet. You keep showing your crotch to your enemy. You odd, odd weasel monster. I guess we can try and catch this. Come on, you like this. Nope, it's angry. Here's that runaway Pichu. Well, its cheeks actually flash.
paralyzed and may be unable to move. We don't want to risk killing it, so just use one tackle. Never mind. How dare you paralyze my Pokemon and run away? That's not how you show a Pokemon a good time. The Lylans, but nothing to do down there for me. Ah, oh, there's a flying Pokemon up in the air. I'd need a Feather Ball to get you. Oh, probably. And maybe even be on the other side of this place. Or, uh, wait for it to land, maybe. Get away from the pep-up. I don't want to fight you. I want the pep-up. Another Pikachu. I think it's sleeping. I wouldn't mind a collection of Pikachu. Or do you just want to fight? Fine, I'll beat you up. Hmm. Normal fang. Normal bite. Normal fang. Beat. Oh, yeah, yeah, we did beat another Pikachu. <laughs> Ray's Pikachu. I completely forgot. A Cricketoon. Level 13. Well, this might be a good time to practice. Nep. Try attack. I forgot the F, like, super low. Let's see. Go, Eevee. Go, me! Fight for that plant. Yeah, it's already getting two. Get it out. Ah, that's not very nice. Normal tackle. Ah, move mastered. And even a move master for Staravia. I'll go ahead and I should have where are my revives? There's my revives, they were up. Come back to life, my boy. I thought it would be a good training. I was wrong. Is that bee doof on the beach? But I like that Pokemon all get experience. Well, I was gonna look at your Pokedex entry, but we'll go ahead and beat you up instead. Level 16 Staravia. That's doing a ton of damage. Thundershock. Since they were here, Staravia. Number caught, so we should catch another one and uh, give one food. All right, food catch and uh, more beating up, I guess. Let's take a look out for Staravias. Bloody Paris! The mushrooms are attacking. Angry as hell mushrooms. I could have sworn there was a ton of Staravia around here. 
Well, I guess there is that one angry star area we could go to if we really wanted. Where are we going to go after that pack? Which is actually this way. Uh-huh. So yeah, this is just leading back to Doomsland. Let's ignore them. Oh, shut up, you bloody mushrooms. I don't need you. I already completed, well, I got the full marks for your Pokedex entry. So if I wanted to do more, it's basically bragging at that point. Somewhere around here is somebody's pack. And Cricketoon. Let's take a look at Cricketoons. Uh, X <laughs> use it. See all these moves. Caught without being spotted. Given food. All right. Have food. Caught without being seen. And the Cricketot over there. Yep. Hmm. Yeah. What type are you, by the according to the po Pokedex? Insufficient data. It wants me to catch three alpha specimens. <laughs> I guess I could try and beat you up as well. Aerial Ace, so that won't do good. Hmm. Staravia, beat up this fool. It has an ugly mustache. Oi! Bloody coward. I think the worst of the worst is going to be the Sea Pokemon Use X Move missions. Those are gonna be nightmares. Lost and found. If you black out in the field, you may lose some of your items. However, players from all over the world can find your lost items and send them to you via the internet. This system is called the Lost and Found. If you find a satchel that someone else has lost, be sure to pick it up. The satchel is retrieved will be returned to its owner and you can retrieve merit points as a reward. MP can be exchanged for items at the trading post in Jubilee Village. Pick up lost satchels whenever you find them, and you may be able to get your hands on some very special goods. Ah. And these are the ones that are still missing out there. Interesting. Sadly, I can't get to you because there's a bloody Snorlax in the way. You want me to end up like you? I won't. I learned it by watching you to not be a dumbass. I see a giant Snorlax. I don't think. Oh, boy. I go, oh, no. It'll be another Burmy, probably. Yep. Hello. I guess, uh... Normal quick attack, beat it up a little bit. Well, actually, I guess I don't know. Wish I could check my Pokédex, but ah, uh, you know what? I want to see this one die. Kill it! I don't think we've beaten any. What's that? Is it the lighting or what? Oh no, I think that's just a tiny evolution of Bidoof. There's an angry cricket tune out in the wild. Even though it's gonna run the bloody away. Eh, yeah, fine, you wanna fight? Yeah, 
Even though I could just, like, level up the a million bidus that I got. Aerial Ace. Aggravating little munchkin, aren't you? Oh, that's extra me. I forgot that you had that. I don't know why. It's your main move. Then we'll just have to send out Jet. This wouldn't be happening if all you did was submit. Make sure it dies. And two others. Oh, it's because it's a big boy. Ah. Understood. Go ahead and use that. And then I'll go ahead and see how many revives I can make. Because I can make revives and it's a wonderful world. I'll go ahead and get those out of my inventory. I need to be careful with the Pokemon that I use. What level are you? That's what I really want to know. Nightmare Monster. Very slowly waddling about my place I would like to hide. Level 30! Level 30, do I even want to try? Zubats are out and about now. <laughs> Woo! Oh, hey! Iron Shunk. Holy shit! That's probably also gonna be level 30, if not more. Aye, aye, aye. Alright, there's just a bunch of iron, co uh, iron on the coast. Level it is. Just want to see what level you are. <laughs> level 16? I could beat that up. Let me heal up my Pokemon and let's beat him up. Okay, potions. You're not going to be in there all that much. make potions easily. Alright, now the real question is, who do I want to send in? Maybe you, because... Stay away. I want to try and get a surprise on you. Go! Surprise! He's filled with a wild might. Use normal quick attack on him. Well, that's not going to be nice at all.
Once more. Wild might indeed. Probably beat you up anyway. It's a strong attack. Bring him low. Ah, hell. Oh, it can do that too. What nice. It can do strong style stuff too. I forgot to heal you, but go, Blitz! Alright. Wait, I probably shouldn't have done you. Strong style. Because rollout will probably. M I I once again. Messing up my dealie. Ah, oh, I didn't want to kill you, but oh well. Didn't want to kill, but killed anyway. Such is the way of life. <gasps> and Pokemon want to evolve? I wonder what you want to evolve into, though. Well, Umbreon, Sylveon, both work good for me. But let's evolve Arthur! Let's see what Arthur evolves into! It'd be hilarious if it was a different thing. This was before Spoon. We have phones, but not spoons. And since I don't mind Umbreon or Sylveon, bring it to me! Even though I can't really check its friendship level, I think. Or affection, whichever. See? It's Umbreon! I'll take it. Umbreon is a wonderful Pokemon. Spider-Man. What? Oh. oh. Let's see. So we're going into a different area from here. So I should probably... Ah. I didn't mean to click that anyway. To bloom or not to bloom. So I guess Frenzied Lord of the Woods. Must continue. Onwards. Though I do wish that I had managed to catch that wild Billy. Huh? Bonnery. Hello there. Level 16, eh? Darn it. Well, I still got it anyway. Well, I ha got a chance at it anyway. And I got it! For a moment, I thought I saw a shining giant bunnery. No, but there is a Psyduck. Which is basically just as good. It's hard to tell which one which way's which with you. I might just have to go back and put some of these in my team. Probably one of the Pokemon that the game wants me to feed.
You want food? There you go. You adorable little bun bun. Please. I'm a startled geo dude. You destroyed my home. Annihilate. I think it was trying to punch me. How rude. But yeah, I love it. That's the instant transition to a new area. Oh, uh, that's not exactly what I wanted, but... Go, Robin. Beat up the jerk. It hurts me, Robin. It hurts me. So kill it. And he mastered it. Yay. New music. Oh, I love it. I love the music also kind of sounds familiar in places. Because they probably are remixing certain parts of... Like, uh, I don't have space for new items. Meh. Hello, Wurmple. You're gonna try and murder me. I need to get this before we get to you. Experience candy. That's packed with energy. When consumed, it will grant a single Pokemon a small amount of experience. We might as well use it. Uh, use it on you. He'll probably use it on you. Small amount, you say? Mine. Poor Wurmple. You didn't see anything. I don't understand this wormhole. Ah, they're trying to finally run away. I heard a Pokemon sound, so wonder where. The kind of out of tune. Loot pots make it sound interesting. Beat up! That Psyduck gets ugly! From Keeling! 10 plus will get a thing for thundering it, probably. And a new move. I should really take a look at my. Pokemon's move lists. Let's see. Change moves. Tackle, quick attack, swift, snarl. The user attacks it by crying out as if it's ranting about something. Also lowers the offensive stats. And it's already mastered. Take a look at your moves. Hypnosis. And confusion. Neat. Hypnosis might come in handy for catching Pokemon, if the world is still fair and that doesn't change that. And you said you had new moves as well? Not nope, just Roost. Maybe it could be a new idea for a move. Could also be like, oh, can learn from the move tutor. Got Pokeball. <laughs> Slime Pokemon. I need to get Feather Stones. I wonder if I can buy Feather Stones from the general store. Oh, it's a biggie. I wonder if we'll get a flying type Pokemon that we can fly above to get the attention of those Pokemon and maybe sneak up on them. 
have an aerial dogfight. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, well, it is this. I wonder what that is. The whites along my uh, my uh, the borders of my vision. Have I been out too long? I don't know what that is, and I'm scared. I just want to explore. There can be so many Pokemon out here. Mushroom. Oh, but I don't have room. Oh, la, 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 la. Uh, go get that for me, will ya? Probably too far away. There we go. I just love exploring. Coming across new Pokemon feels like an event. I wonder if going out into, like, a new area causes that. Like, oh, be careful. You're far from the borders of the lands of your people. Maybe that could be it. If you're faint, you're very far from home. Oh, and I, I couldn't get that because I don't have room. Ah. Let's go ahead and save. And honestly, I'm going to teleport back and head back home. Purely because I believe that there's like so much. There's so much. I can, get, I can maybe get that. I can maybe get... Ah, oh, but it's probably up the mountain. I might be able to get it. Another satchel. Ripe for the picking. But it is up the mountain. So. Mm -hmm. Question will be. You can kind of cheese it at times. Eh. Central. Get wood. And a new Pokemon to boot. What killed them? Is my question. Oh, I can't wait. So much to explore. And it's a not scary Luxio. But still, I'm going to head back. So I can clean up my inventory and turn things in. And, like, maybe... Let's see. Mushrooms that, when consumed, make the body they eat grow tougher. They boost endurance and are one of the materials used for ox guard. Hopefully this will pay me enough that I can increase my inventory even more. Because there's a ton of freaking things. I want to carry more. There's far too much I want to carry. Hey, Professor Dude. I have a lot. To... I've seen caught 14 Pokemon. Care to report your findings? Sure. Woot woot. 4,000. Oh, it seems you've made some new observations. Let's have a look then. Mm, I see most illuminating. Add this to the data. Uh, updated entries. And 21 new species added. And I can 
Get a new promotion. Woot woot. I would like to return to the village so I can go and swap out Pokemon and stuff. Maybe. Because there's just so many Pokemon that I want to use. Oh. I forgot. Lost and found. 75 merit points. And I'll have to get another Eevee to try and get a Sylveon. I think this game is more about, like, trying to be like, no, no, no. Try and get, like, many, many, many different ones. Many different teams of Pokemon to use. Our investigation for the commander will grind to a halt if you come incapacitated, recruit. I should like to avoid that outcome. I imagine you would as well, since it means losing the food and shelter we provide for you. If you have progress to report, I will judge its worthiness. Show me your Pokedex. I have lots to report. Hmm, you have made progress. It seems you have earned yourself a star. Woot woot. With this, you have officially attained the rank of third star in the Galaxy Expedition Team. Now I can use Great Balls, and Pokemon up to level 40 will also obey. Rewards will also increase. Have this as well. This is the recipe you'll need for crafting. Needs Apricorn, Iron Trunk, and Tumblestone. Ah, I've been getting a lot of Iron Trunks. Continue to dedicate yourself to completing the Pokedex if you hope to rise higher in the ranks. Okay, how much money do you want to steal from me? It hurts. But this is like one of the most valuable things. And it's only up by one! And let me guess, 2050? Yep. Look. There goes my entire paycheck for this. Maybe later. Dude, you, you're charging me so much. It started out at just like a dollar, and now you're forcing me to pay you a lot. And let's go see. Anything I can get for the... A thousand for a lot of things. Dawnstone. Sunstone. Huh. Moonstone, oh yeah, shiny stone. Oval stone. So many different things to level up Pokemon with. And none for... None that would induce a fairy type evolution for my beloved Eevee. Or did I not give my beloved Eevee baby doll eyes? I thought I did. Maybe it needs to be in use. Oh, so many items now. Iron Tail and Shadow Ball. What about you, Arthur? What can you learn? You can learn Punches, Psycho Cut, Zin Headbutt. You can learn a fuck ton, my dude. Still don't know where to find a Cherum. Maybe I'll need to talk to the dude again. But first I'm gonna head to the pastures and reorganize my team, maybe. All right, we'll replace you. With one bunnery. Let's see. Quick attack, draining kiss. So I know now it's really comes down to stats. I guess you come along, bunnery. And I guess I'll go quick travel over here. Just to try and get a tip on where this guy wants me to find Chirum. 
Nope. I don't think it says anything about where to find Cherim. But on we go. I want to go to the Heights camp. Go on a journey. Oh yeah, and I can make... Put more things away. Let's see. Put the mud away. I think I'll keep the grit and use it. The crackling of the fire is ever so slightly distracting. And then I will use the grit dust on one of my Pokemon. Let's see. Let's use it on you. And honestly, raise your special defense. One of the moves. Wrong. Did not want to click that. And you have all the moves that you have already. Let's try and get you up to snuff next. Let's see. Any... Everybody's dying to the Snorlax area. Nobody dies over here in Horseshoe Plains. Damn it, I should have... I could teleport. Well, fast travel back. See if there are any Eevees in Horseshoe Plains. I'm gonna do that. I forgot that Eevee exists in Horseshoe Plains, and I want Eevees! But they might just be a rare spawn. I wanted to do this also. Nope, it flies like a normal Pokeball now. Hilarious. I just noticed that the white around my screen's border from the game is still kind of there, but it's lessened, it seems like. I wonder why. Hello. I'm being a... The wormples are attracted to me. The horror. I'm trying to remember where were the Eevees that I caught or ran into. Because I guess we need to head more this way. And I forgot to make some great balls. I'll have to make some once we. Get to the other camp. Ah, I thought that Wimple was an Eevee for a second because of the spiky ears. Oh, nope. Love the music though. At least while I search futilely for my EV army, I have good music to accompany me. You have sworn yourself to death. Kill it. How'd you live? I guess you are a baby Pokemon. Still. Ah, finish it off.
Guess we can try and beat up more of them. Use draining kiss, see what that does. Critical hit. And it heals! For just clean murder these Pokemon, that might be the best option. But it looks like there are no Eevees here today. I find sadness. The saddest of sadness to ever be sad. And I can make great balls. I'll make as many as I can. And I don't know. I'm stuck. Oh no. <laughs> so let's see what the great balls have to say for themselves. Higher success rate for catching than standard Pokeball. And I forgot to check the general store to see if they sell any feather stones to make a fly high flying Pokeballs. Because I want a super duper player. Beat him up. Very rude. Thunder shock. Love this game. Let's see. Yes, I can try and catch you. What level are you? 17. You don't want to fight the Parasect. It is a nightmare monster of demon dreams. Strong style. Tackle! Alright, that was impressive. Let's go ahead and try and capture you. Darn you, demon. Now you're extra not nice. Send out Blitz. And... Oh, Throw the heavy ball at the birds to weigh it down. Ah, new moves abound for everyone. And hopefully that whole getting smacked up by the bird a few times gave me some nice valuable information. Ah, grit. Definitely want to increase that special defense. Love me the music. This bloody game, I love it. Whee! There's the thing, grab it. Maybe if we want to annihilate it. 
Yay. While I'm here, kill. The Alpha will have returned. Because we didn't catch him. He probably just shrunk in winter. Hiding. Yep, there's the boy. Have to heal everyone. Then we need to check everyone's moves list. Because I'm going to try and capture it this time. Let's see. Any new moves, my boy? We have Thunder Wave, which doesn't have... Uh, well, does put Paralysis, but we already have a chance for Paralysis. Change moves. Ah, he learned Psycho Cut on his own! Honestly, get rid of Teleport, because I don't think it has much use. I can't teleport back to base. Because I can just go fast traveling back to base. See, it's possible that since didn't have baby doll eyes equipped, it didn't count for Sylveon. But wait, wait, wait. Let's feel it out. You saw bloody nothing. I doubt it's raised its level. Just realized it should also probably go save, just in case. Granted, probably overwrites that if you die. Oh, oh. I hate the water. It ruins my sneakies. And there's no good going around from here. Go! Snarl at him! That's an interesting move. I haven't seen that from a normal Pokemon. No agile tackle. Hmm. Yeah, just a normal tackle then. Let it get a second hit off. Uh, one more agile tackle should be allow us to capture it. And if not, we'll just have to come by tomorrow. God damn it. Oh well. Nice experience for everyone at least. We'll just have to capture it another day. Go get those items, please. We want more iron. Iron in our diet. I wish we could get the wild Pokemon to fight each other. Kind of like Pokemon Snap. Well, 
must be there. Uh, just another binary. Ow. Be trying it trying to fix the opacity of what I'm passing through kind of hurts my eyes. We haven't beaten one of you. So let's try it. Strong quick attack. Just to increase our information. And because I'm a cruel bastard. Beat up your friend! Don't you dare run away! Oh yeah, critical hit. You are a critical hit machine, my bunnery. We want to add to our Pokedex as much as possible, which requires lots and lots of murder. I just realized I still don't have a rock type. I really should bring a Geodude to crush some Zubats. I'm going to have to go on a Zubat crushing crusade one of these days. Any... Nope. Roger. Caught in the daylight hours. That'd be difficult. Time to see it use gust. Numbers evolved. Investigate Zubat's neck for navigation. And blah, blah, blah. Well, I guess I could smack it up some. What level are you? Kill. Strong style. Quick attack. Running low on our quick attack for Bunnery. That. You have caused yourself much pain. Thunder Shock. Nice and quick. I love it. Yeah, I guess let's get on with the story. Open up this area a bit more, at least make it feel a bit more comfortable to explore this area. Giant tree. Hello, small child. I am an adventurer here to murder. Why are you wearing a cowboy hat? I am Leon of the Pearl Clan, the Warden to Cleaver, Lord of the Woods. He has a pickaxe. Oh no, he's a prospector. He's a prospector. Oh no. And you, I've already deduced that you're here to meet Cleaver, are I'm right, aren't I? Of course I am. I can see it so clearly. After all, the powerful, awesome Cleaver has become even more awesomely powerful. And crazy. Perhaps that strange lightning the other day was the almighty Sinnoh's divine power. But whatever it was, it struck my lord and left him imbued with awesome might. So I must turn you away, even if it pains me. It's too dangerous for you to meet Cleaver right now. I'll do anything. <laughs> Lord Cleaver is amazing! Ah, such earnest desire to meet Mighty Cleaver! I have to admit I'm struck by your passion. But, well, I'm afraid your passion is not the real issue here. I've been told in no uncertain terms but by Irida that I'm to let no one near Cleaver. I will fight you off myself if you insist. If you wish to avoid battle, withdraw now while you still can or face the wrath of my Gumi. I'll take you on. You don't even realize I'm turning you away for your own safety. How sad you are! Go, Gumi, and see if you can ooze some good sense over this foolish troublemaker. Go, Blitz. All this, this music. I love it. Mm. Ice Fang, go. Lol. I overleveled. 
Uh, we didn't even, I don't, I think I might have, either I missed it or we didn't get the, this man challenges you to battle. How can this be? I may have been defeated, but my point still stands. It's too dangerous to meet Cleaver now. The only welcome you'll get if you approach him is a flurry of devastating blows. Normally, I'd simply try making him an offering, a nice heaping helping of his two favorite foods served up with respect by his loyal warden. That's me, of course. It's usually enough to please him and soothe the prickliest of moods. But even I, Cleaver's loyal warden, can't get close enough to give any offerings now. Not the way Cleaver is rampaging and running amok. There's nothing to, that an outsider like you can do. The ancestors of Cleaver, Weir Deer, and their cohort drew on Almighty Sinnoh's own power to protect Pokemon and people alike. So it's said it's by their grace that our clan that any of us still lives in Vastasui today. Rida, what are you doing here? As you say, Cleaver's grown even stronger, but I'm afraid that strength poses a problem for us. If he was indeed struck by that lightning, could the bolts have been sent by that false Sinnoh that the Diamond Clan bow bows to? What is with your madness, lady? Cleaver means so much to our clan. I'd hope we could bring the situation under control ourselves, not throw our hands up and ask some outsider for help. But we must save Cleaver from this frenzy. Every moment it continues, the danger grows. If more people in Pokemon are attacked, it would lead to conflict with both the Diamond Clan and the Galaxy team. You, strange from beyond the sky, tell me, could you Galaxy people actually fix all this? Could an outsider actually find a way to quell our Lord's frenzy? I'll figure something out. One way or another. Very well. Leon and I will gather foods that please Cleaver in hopes that we might be able to get close enough to make him a proper offering. As for you, find a way to quell his frenzy, even if you must search every corner of vast Hisui. Of all the space of Hisui. Your arc phone is beeping. A mysterious power now enables you to return to base camps in an instant. Press the X button while consulting the map on your arc phone to instantly travel to base camps and other locations. <laughs> However, be aware, this feature might not be usable in some situations. So it's basically just fast travel plus. But cool that we saw a Gumi. Whoop. So that seems to be the cheese. <gasps> Wait. Is that Cleaver? No, it can't be. Weird Deer is unique. Level 13. And he's not frenzied. Go Pokemon! <laughs> just saw a cleaver and I was just like, mine. <laughs> I guess I could try and beat the other one, but we could do that later. When we level up our Pokemon a bit more. Hmm. Bonnery, fight this feed. Ah, uh, draining kiss is not all that helpful in this way. You swift! That works. Now that's annoying. Bonnery, use quick attack! Let's see if we can get close and see what we want to do with these gold ducks. Or side ducks. Gold duck is its evolution. I don't know why, it's fucking gold. Let's see. Times we've seen it used confusing, so give it food, then fight. I'm 
Oh, get the food. It's on land now. Surely you want it. Berries. Eat the berries. I'm giving you berries. I shall fight you instead. For your hubris, you shall die. Kill! your death. Hello. I'd like you to use your psychic tax. Let's see what baby doll's eyes even does. That's like kind of creepy. Use another baby doll eyes. Bloody fight already, Swift! There we go. Just needed to see that one. Swift again. Finish him off. Good boy. If we defeat one more, we'll be able to go even further with our research. Let's find one more to annihilate. Fight your friend. Your friend is the false betrayer and then it ran away because it's a coward. You must annihilate it upon first sighting next time. From behind, probably. Where are Psyducks to annihilate? There's a Psyduck to annihilate. He shall face wrath. Face your fate, fiend! More swift attacks! Not unawares, he cannot fight. Swift him to death! Maybe we should have drained him. That way it would have healed you too, but oh well. Whatever can you do. Who knows? Doesn't look like the abomination has respawned. That's kind of nice. Maybe it's per expedition, but either way. Aha. Uh -huh. So that's basically just a nice, don't put the cursor over the thing, just do the thing. Well, that's alright, boss. I did a thing. Good to see you, Neon. And how's your research into Cleaver going? Swimmingly, I expect. I haven't even gotten there yet. I just got their blessing. Oh, is that so? Now that's quite the tidbit. So a serving of his favorite foods will normally make Cleaver quite agreeable, is that it? I need to mull this over back at the laboratory. You should come along too, dear girl. Oh, I caught two Pokemon this go. Darn. But my research hopefully should help a bit. Ish, ish. Remember, check the general store. So according to the information you were able to learn from Iridan Leon of the Pearl Clan, were this the normal course of events that frenzied Cleaver would be commented by a nice serving of his two favorite foods? I do wonder, is it possible that the aromas of some other components of these foods might combine in a way that could not only calm Cleaver, but draw him back from this frenzy? But by your own report, even Cleaver's warden, who, who looks after Cleaver and knows him well, cannot approach him in his current state. 
It would be a fool's gambit to get close enough to offer him food. Mm, give me a moment. If you would, I need some time to ponder this. There ought to be something to my research notes that can help us. Ah, uh, Pikachu Doodle! Eureka? I got it! Eureka! We'll simply have to throw the food! Nobody thought of this before? Nobody? You've quite the arm for throwing things, haven't you, Neon? Might I suggest you take Cleaver's favorite foods and throw them at the Pokemon? Makes sense. Yes, it all comes together. We can use our skill in Pokeball crafting to shape Cleaver's beloved foods into balls, then throw them to achieve the same calming effect, but from afar. A brilliant of idea, if I do say so myself. As for that, you call these yummy projectiles? Well, how about tea time balls? Puts one in mind of a nice, relaxing afternoon tea, does it not? Are you sure, Professor? They're your own inventions. Why not call them Laventon Balls? Oh my, with that name, it'd sound like the one being launched at our frenzied friend. In any case, we can rely on the Pearl Clan to gather the necessary foodstuffs, correct? Correct! And then you should hurry back to the Grand Tree Arena and tell the Pearl Clan about our brilliant plan. If you're off to Grand Tree Arena, best set up for the heights, can't they? How much money do I have? You freaking eat my soul. He would eat my soul in diddly dee. I'm going to quickly grab items and put items away. And then we'll go to the general store after selling some. We'll have to use that grit. Sells for a good price at the general store basically what we're looking for for selling. I guess I'll sell these Pokishi dolls. We'll just take up space because there's actually not that much room in this damn thing. Fear! Fear! Alright. I'll go ahead and use this grit on you. Let's raise your attack there. Beat up more people. Take hits and punch back. Let's see. General store, general store. Hello, general store. See something you want? It's yours for a price. He actually doesn't sell that much. But I have things to sell myself. So you do get a bit of a money boost by combining things. And you can sell from your frickin' inventory too. Yay. Love that. That's amazing. Doesn't seem to be any... Diddly D Da. I did increase my money reserves. So I guess I could upgrade one more time from Bagham. I swear, if he goes all. I, I would, it would be hilarious if it was technically infinite. Sure. do one more. 4,000! Okay. Fine.
When will you run out of things to teach me? I don't- I couldn't afford it. I literally can't this time. But alright, we'll head out from the... the diddly camp. Oh hey, what are you doing here? My my, that galaxy hall is one fine building, even from the outside. The galaxy team certainly got themselves a grand headquarters. I'll give them that. Oh yes, I came because I had some news that I thought you might be interested in. Better you actually see what's going on, though. Let's head to, what did you call, end up calling it, the Heights Camp? I didn't even get a choice. <laughs> well, luckily I was going to come here anyway. If I want, I can go back and look for Eevees. Weird deer. Does this mean I get to ride weird deer? I spoke to weird deer about what's been going on. I told him how you've been trekking all over the field land, seeking a way to quell Cleaver's frenzy. All this from someone who's not even part of our clan or the Pearl Clan, just some wanderer who fell through a rift into this world. And hearing that, well, you can see how he responded. I trust you appreciate it. Weird Ears found you worthy, you see, which means you'll need a flute like we have. Mind demonstrating for her, Mai? This is very important, so listen well. I find it hilarious that... Boom! <laughs> that was very quick. I thought it was going to be a tune, not a super flurry of notes. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's a Celestica flute that Mai just played. It's a precious tool that can be used to call upon Weird Ear so you can ride upon him. It's said that Celestic Celestica flutes were gifts to the from the almighty Sinnoh itself, and now this one's yours. Seriously, this guy looks more main character anime protagonist than I do. Celestica flute, a flute that can be used to call special Pokemon that are willing to bear you around the region. Its timbre is eerie and mysterious. It's not that grand a gesture, really. I can't play the flute for the life of me. See if you can play that melody. Weird Ear opened his heart and learned well the sound of your playing. <laughs> That's a cool way of putting it. What's this? Mind Plate from Weird Ear. Mind Plate, a stone tablet imbued with the essence of psychic energy. When used on a certain on certain Pokemon, it allows the Pokemon to gain the power of the psychic type. Now you... Oh, wait, is that... Wouldn't that be... Arceus's... Sci uh, type plate? Now use the Celestica Flute wisely and gallop across the land with great Weird Ear. You've got a frenzied Pokemon to quell at Grand Tree Arena, haven't you? With Weird Ear, you can gallop across the field lands in no time. You can now call Weird Ear and gallop across the land. Press the plus button to summon a Pokemon to ride on. Be sure to stay alert for wild Pokemon attacks and avoid falls from high places while you're riding about. Hello, man. What do you have to say? Nice to meet you, young Survey Corps recruit. I hear you have the rare ability to dash over hill and vale on the back of a Pokemon, yes? Well, why not try your hand at the balloon race? It's a game I invented myself. It's simple, really. You just need to burst as many of my bal adorable balloons as possible while riding a Pokemon. If you manage to burst, say, 17 balloons well, that'd be an impressive start. You can find me here anytime, so let me know whenever you feel like testing your skill in the balloon race. Okay. Ride a Pokemon and smash through balloons. If you manage to burst say 7 to be impressive start. How about it? Want to play? I'll give it a try. There are a total of 30 balloons on the course. Let's see if you, how many of you can, you can burst. In 45 seconds now, get out there and get bursting. I shall design my balloons after a kidnapper. 
Oh, I need need to jump from this. That's how you jump. Learning the controls is a bit wonky. It's raining. I lost a lot of time trying to jump after that one. But I got 21, so that's above par. Welcome back, you burst 21 balloons! Not bad, not bad at all! For someone so skilled, I'll offer you this as a reward. I, I already know that. I make them. And what do you know? You beat my target of bursting at least 17 balloons. Well done for you! Rare candy and... Ball. You could take part of the balloon races in other places as well. This race is the easiest of the lot. Let's see if you have what it takes to challenge them all and raise your skills to the next level. Let's see. And dashing is a hold action. And I can't throw Pokemon from here. So this is purely for travel. I don't mind at all. Even though I really like to gather resources just by diddly dee. And I can reach new areas, maybe. I want to get up there. Come on, weird deer. Woo! Aha! It was just for iron trunks. I wonder what kind of Pokemon will be about in the rain, if any at all. I can still pick up while I'm on. I just can't get, like, uh, three ones, probably. A part of me kind of wants to try and jump the river, but I doubt it would work out well. And finally, we have movement. We could probably jump this one. Maybe. I ain't gonna try it there. Well, then again, there it does to be a shore there. else so far. Man, I wonder if there's anything in the forest. Let's try and get to the forest quick. Right quickly. My weird dear darling. Aha, we made it. Super Stantler up here. Somewhere. I just want to look at it. 
I guess. Level 42. But absolutely annihilate me if it could. And the only reason that I can't is because I run away fast. Especially now that I have this. Kind of wish that you could actually lock on to Pokemon and check their Pokedex from Weird Ear, but oh well. Nitpicking, really. Because the abomination will probably be back again. At least we can get some iron chunks. I'll try and beat it up with bunnery. Darn it, I forgot water ruins my sneaking. Sneak attack. I probably should have done agile baby doll eyes. Just because I don't think it would have affected anything. Normal quick attack. Go ahead and strong style. Doesn't affect anything. That's, of course, it's a critical hit. Drain kiss. Another drain kiss. There we go. And now you'll probably... Will you survive? Barely. Let's see if I can help. Go! Great ball! Catch this angry Alpha Bibero! Booyah! Two levels up. Get here in time to check this place out while it was raining. Mm, pity. But you did so good, you've earned yourself a potion, Bunnery. Uh, actually, two. Mind plate. All of them are incompatible. Okay, let's go ahead and craft us some. It takes orange berry, and then that. Pep up plant, and then that. I have freaking tons of them. I'll make 25 for now. Let's see if we can sneak up on your friend. Nope. Your friend noticed us. Go ahead. Fear me. I'll go for the tree instead. I love the tech that I found. By holding a Pokeball or a throwable item, you can kind of cheat the movement penalty. I'm not sure if it would stop you from falling uh, totally, but it would probably just, uh, at the very least. Oh, Tommy! Swift. Now that works. Let's 
wish that I could catch that. But it seems too far in the sky, and I don't want to risk me. Like, again, it probably... Hmm. I wish there was an arc. Hello, Cascoon. I almost got it. At least it might draw its attention. Ooh. I'll get you eventually. Almost. Did you laugh at me? Dang it. Alright, so that's when I should throw it. And hopefully get a crit from the back, even though it probably won't. Oh, it's raining again. be hilarious if it actually got caught. Ah! Whoa! Level 36! Okay. I didn't expect that it was... Okay. I... Okay. Okay. Did not expect. I did not expect that. I did not anticipate that level. I don't even think that I can use it because I can only get up to level 30... To obey me, I think. Hello, Geodude. Well, too bad for you, I have Drain Kiss. Okay, I just got lucky there. I got lucky catching that star after. I got insanely lucky. Because that should not have worked. But it did. So yay. And all my Pokemon got a beefy boost. Let's change. Because I think some of them got either... Oh, he learned Magical Grass. Compared to Leafage. Guess I'll replace that and... I have to learn it. Oh well. Change moves. Nope. But I find that hilarious. That I just was like, I want to try this. I thought it was just like, I don't know, level 25 at most. Nope, it's level 36. I just got lucky. Insanely lucky. Hmm, bug actually does a lot of damage, so I guess I'll go dark. Or maybe you. Hello, Leon, I have an idea. So, you say that the galaxy people came up with a method to try and quell Lord Cleaver's frenzy? Yes. What? You'll mass up Cleaver's favorite foods into balls so you can throw offerings at him? Well, that's quite an un unorthodox approach. You galaxy people, your inventiveness just blows me away. We've never heard of this idea of throwing. I mean, now you can make offerings to Lord Cleaver from a safe distance. I'll lend you my aid if it means we might provide Cleaver of his offering. Let's begin at once. Hold on, Leon. Don't get ahead of yourself. Whatever the plan is, you'll need Cleaver's favorite plump beans. I've brought them as promised. God, that's right. My apologies, Irida. I'd forgotten all about you. I admit it. As we haven't been able to solve this ourselves, we seem to have little choice but to turn to the Galaxy team. But even I still have some doubts about whether we should trust entrust such a thing to an outsider. These Galaxy team people don't share our customs or our values. So prove to me you're worthy to stand in the presence of our noble Pokemon. You may battle by ordering Pokemon the, uh, about the Pokemon you've ca caught in your little Pokeballs. But on my side, I have a Pokemon as close to me as a sister, as one of blood. If you can defeat Glaceon and me, I will entrust you of Cleaver's fate. Will you battle us? Sure. 
than allow Glacian's true strength to chill you to your depths. I don't have a... Well, I guess I do have Luxio if I really want to just blow you away. Use Magic Leaf. Using Agile style. Interesting. Ah, Frostbite effect. Um, well, you're gone. Sorry, Robin. I didn't see that it was going to get a double move off that. But now we shall annihilate you. For what you have done. Since we go twice, I shall re revive my boy, just in case. And now, Fire Fang. Woot woot. I see now. Pokeballs are simply your tools of choice, not products of disregard for Pokemon. You still understand the Pokemon that you've caught and treat them as partners. I feel better putting my trust in you now, I think. Let me see your Pokemon's wounds. Now explain the Galaxy Team's plan. What do you m mean to do with these foods? We're gonna chunk him at him? And because we're far away, he can't attack us, but we can still appease him. So because you have to keep your distance, you'll mash Cleaver's favorite foods together, ball them up, and try to quell his frenzy by throwing them at him? Interesting. So you've developed soothing balms of sort to calm our lord. Very well. If it'll help soothe Cleaver's frenzy, let's make these balms with our very hearts and souls. There! A veritable mountain of balms! They should please Cleaver if anything can. Now then, ready yourself and I will summon our mighty Cleaver, Lord of the Woods. Let's -a go. As am I. Oh, mighty Cleaver, Lord of the Woods, though it isn't yet the time of ceremony, we've prepared an offering of your favorite things. Benevolent Lord, who works his might between the heavens and earth, we offer our gratitude and beseech you, reveal yourself to our eyes. Listen well, Neon. Keep your focus on Cleaver. Dodging will be vital. Try to avoid his moves if you're throwing bombs. As you're throwing bombs. Grasha! I wonder what Pokemon it will actually be. A giant scissor? What the... What the? Oh, it's you. I think. No, I don't think. I don't recognize this Pokemon. I do not recognize this Pokemon. Battling Pokemon Nobles. To claim victory against a noble Pokemon and quell its frenzy. You'll have to throw bombs at it until its frenzy gauge reaches zero. If you manage to create an opening in the noble's defenses, you'll be able to send out your Pokemon to battle against it. Win your Pokemon battle, and the noble's guard will stay down for a brief time. During that battle, when bombs will uh, during that window, bombs will be more effective than usual. So throw as many as you can. into a wall. Whoop. Go, Pokeball! Show Cleaver our power! Well, that's not gonna be nice. Strong style! Annihilate my friend. Because I didn't have the right Pokemon out there at first. I don't even know what types you are. 
Maybe Blitz? Thundershock. Almost. Just survived, my boy. Ah, maybe paralyzed. It is paralyzed. Finish him off. Thundershock. Good free. Go fight him. That's not good at all. Use bite. Make him flinch. Frickin' splinters. Oh, uh, please don't hit me. Paralyze him! Yay! Bloody splinters. Good fly blitz. We'll try you, Arthur. Beat him up. Confusion! And I'll just start reviving and healing my Pokemon because I probably need help. I Probably won't use Robin much because he'll just get annihilated again. But we can heal you. What are you gonna do now, mate? Go, my boy! Once again, not very nice. Strong Thundershock. See if we can paralyze him again and buy us time. Nope. Well, try and paralyze him, my boy. Now I need to pray that he actually paralyzes him. Nope. He just hates you. It really does, it seems. Yo, Bunnery, beat up this guy. Acuteness will destroy God. Um, kiss the God. Then again, it is only level 18, but still. Very rude. You snarl, lower his <laughs> offensive capability and damage him. And does a ton of damage to boot. I should have been using you more often. Booyah! Are you appeased, Mighty Cleaver? <laughs> Cinematic punch! I free you of your pain and suffering. 
Yeah, I still don't know what kind of Pokemon you are. I haven't seen you before. Lots of level ups for everyone. So you're one of... Ah! Insect Plate from Cleaver. Insect Plate, a stone tablet imbued with the essence of bugs when used on a certain Pokemon. It allows that Pokemon to gain the power of the bug type. Too bad I can't catch their noble. W what happened? Some kind of light erupted from Cleaver's body. Has Lord Cleaver's frenzied mind truly been put at ease now? Does this confirm that the strange lightning was to blame for Cleaver's unnatural power? Maybe. Just don't go blaming the, the, the Diamond Clan. Well, this is what I think after all we've seen. We know strange lightning came from out of the space-time rift the other night. Those bolts must have struck Cleaver and driven him into his frenzy after all. The lightning came from the space-time rift? But if Almighty Sinnoh really does dwell beyond that space-time rift, then the strange lightning... It indeed was Almighty Sinnoh's power? Then we were even right to try to interfere? I happily went along with this plan to create some bombs as if I knew what I was doing, like some kind of thoughtless fool! Outrageous! Calm yourself, Liam. Remember that the Lord of the Woods has long been our protector keeping the Pearl Clan safe from dangerous Pokémon that might harm us. Would power sent by the true Almighty Sinnoh have driven Cleaver to turn on us and attack people and Pokémon indiscriminately? I doubt it. What Neon accomplished just now, it indeed uh, it needed to be done. I'm glad we could settle this without further strife with the Diamond Clan or Galaxy Team. If you come across other Pokémon in the grip of this painful frenzy, please help them. Hmm, yes, fine. I suppose I must concur. I apologize for coming briefly incomposed. I'm grateful for what you've done to my lord. Please take these on behalf of the Pearl Clan. Consider it my apology for having spoken rudely to you earlier and a token of my thanks. <laughs> what they be? Citrus Berries. A berry that can be fed to Pokemon to restore its HP by half its max. You can also throw this berry near wild Pokemon to draw their attention. Let me care for your Pokemon as well in appreciation for fighting our behalf. I think I've finally come to believe that you truly did fall out of the sky, though I still cannot imagine the reasons at play. And it seems you've settled things there, here. Though, between you and me, I wouldn't mind seeing Lord Cleaver in such a frenzy again. He was fearfully strong after all. <laughs> and it was an arena. Report to Commander Kamado. To have accomplished the mission. I want to get over here. Ah. More scissors. I forget what's good against bug. Fire? But I don't have any fire. They tear apart. Well, I guess I do have fire. A fire move. You want to fight? I'll annihilate you. Beat up this dumb bug. Well, that's not good at all. Use Fire Peg! Well, that's not good at all. Oh, Thunderstruck would have worked anyway. Kill! Or at least it's scared. Oh, flew away. Let's see. Pick that up for me. Thank you, Bunnery. Uh, frenzy or no frenzy? You're a one giant ass gold bat, and that scares me. I'll 
Okay, you're just a normal gold back, but that could still mean that you're a high level. All right. Biscuit for the biscuit. One level are you? Level 23. Strong style. Bring it low. Let's try. Try a great ball. Might as well catch you while you're here. Booyah. Level ups abound. And a move mastered. And number caught at night. Even though it looks very daytime to me. Ah, I was gonna try and catch it in the daylight hours. Oh, he got both of them. My bad. I love exploring in this game. Alright, Bunnery, let's beat up this thing. We do need to beat up some comb bees. You swift, bring it low. Don't shoot me! but you're a normal type. I don't have any fighting types on me, but I do have a psychic. Alright, Arthur. Actually, you know what? Use Psycho Cut. Let's see what this looks like. Smack him with your spoon. Alright, wrong button. And uh, confusion. What would a strong style confusion even do? All right, this is a cave. What's in the cave? Is it tied to a... Okay, this is going to be scary. What? Oh, balloon race. I was wondering what that was. I'm interested and terrified what could be in here. Okay, the sound effect. That doesn't sound like a scary sound effect. What's that? Gibble? Oh no! My chops. Definitely don't want to send you out. Have to plug in my headphones. I have to do the annoying thing, because even though you, I plug in my headphones, I still have to turn them off and on again, and then it'll be like, oh, we're charging, so that's okay. Uh, experience candies. Let's see. Who needs them the most? You do. We'll use two. Ah, I got the idea for a new move. And you. What's the idea for the new move? Double hit! Hmm. User adopts a hard-hitting stance to increase the damage dealt by its move by 50%. Or I could just use strong style and hit twice. Hmm. But that's what he was doing and that didn't really help for him. But okie doke. I'm gonna try and capture some Machop. sound effects. They're 
all wonky in here. Let's see. Heavy specimens, number defeated with flying moves. Times seen rock smash. Use a strong style. Times you stunned it by using items. All right, I can stun it with an item and bash it over the head. Oh no, uh, flying type. Hit it with gust. The echo, I love the sound design. Me. I'd really like you on the team. Thank you. Happy. The deeper we go, the most. Okay, that does not sound like a happy noise. Blocked it. We can't go through. Something on the other side of the obsidian falls. Well, at least there's nothing super scary in here. Might have to come again at night, though. I can't wait to explore more things. Oh, wait. I can summon you. What am I doing? Going on foot. Sorry, I'm a terrible driver. Alright. Then I guess let's move down this way. To the left, a bit. See what Pokemon lie that away. And maybe even try the balloon race again. Pokemon sounds from all around is kind of disorientating. Hmm. Let's see. Number defeated. Ah, different forms. I already caught the different forms. Can't defeat it with a rock type move, sadly. I could try and defeat it with something. Ah, ah fine, it's sleeping. I'll catch it. Oh, dear God. Level are you? These guys are like level 14s. I'm gonna estimate that you're fucking level 50 or something, my man. I just want to gaze at your level. Level 42. Not as bad, but still heavy nopes. 
heavy nopes. All around, no. No, no, no. With a side of no, and a hefty dose of never. Let's see. So I need to head back and kind of go back along the coast, because these are stuff. Unless I want to fight some of you. Fight me! I want to see you use some moves. You snarl. Lower its attack and stuff. Agile star snarl. Do less damage. out your Pokemon whenever. Well, kind of whenever. Mostly whenever. The best kind of whenever. There's just so many Pokemon. Well, let's head back. Well, first I'm gonna grab this. <laughs> Another Star Raptor has took the other's place. I am... I wonder what happens if you send out a Pokemon that you don't have the... Alpha... Psyduck. Level 29. Level 29 when we have you. Hmm. Wrong button. I'm so used to that just opening up a menu where I can do things. Nope, that's the summon rideable animal option in this game. Hmm. Well, I might be able to get the upper hand with heavy snarls. Go! <laughs> Filled with wild might. Well, too bad he can't move. Booyah! Womp womp womp. You swift. Knock it down a bit. Go. Heavy ball. Catch this alpha. Booyah. XP candy and grit. Once again, wrong button. All right then. XP candy should go to... I think Jet. It's been a bit you should. Actually, who should? You. You've been doing good. Let's raise your defense up. So yeah, just sometimes random alphas will spawn. Hmm. What have we done for you? Not much. We haven't even technically... Oh, you're a Silcoon! Uh... Excuse me? I'll take a Silcoon. Oi! Oh, you want to fight, huh? Oh, 
I think, well, even... I think even an Agile Swift will kill you, oh well. Almost, yeah. Go, normal Pokeball. has been added. Hmm, let's see. What's this way? Um, and, uh... You're a level 16 butter butterfly. Okay, that's actually kind of scary. You snarl. Yay, I avoided the attack. Actually. Go. Great ball. Catch this beautifully. Because I can make great balls. Ooh, waha. And another Silcoon. Where are you? I think you are. You just don't want to be caught, do you? Well, we know how to do this. Agile Swift. Knock him down. Don't get a crit. It's gonna crit, isn't it? Getting, when, it, when there's something on this menu, I think, oh, I press A to select Pokeball for whatever reason. Just a bunch of beautifies out here. Kind of threw you over here. Hmm. Moss Rock. Investigate. So maybe if we have an Eevee, you can evolve it into a Leafeon from there. Ah, I got an iron chunk there. Cool. More bunneries. Thank God I did all that to increase my inventory, because there's so many items. And I'm getting a bunch of dazzling honey. Oh dear God, Alpha Lapani. Depends on what level it is. Nope. Please don't see me. There's a joke to be made about thighs that could crush heads, but this is a thigh that would really crush my head. Alright, well, we might as well see. What level are you? Level 40. I'm getting the fuck out. But at least we know where that can be found. Wince level fi uh, 40 comes around. Or at least like level 35 or something. And of course they had to make... 
Shiny bitch! Shiny bit, shiny bit. Use it, cause I'm catching that shiny bit. This is the first time in a long time that I have seen a shiny. Granted, it's been like five billion years since I actively played Pokemon, but still. You're getting a great ball. Once again, wrong button. Come to me! Shiny Zubat. Answers my question, are there shinies? Fuck yes there are. Strong Snarl. Quick attack. Smacking its big mouth. Risk it all. Damn it. Well, luckily he's dumb. But now he's. Okay. Here's another snarl. Lower his attacks again. Or just kill him. In a way, that does uh, lower his attacks because he's dead. Okay, I got my first shiny Pokemon. Cool. Yeah, I was just going along and then I saw it. And it was like, whoa, 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 shiny bitch. And you're back up. I want to catch you. Keep doing that again. I guess I could try and catch you again. Because I think, uh... Oh, what's up? Hello, asshole. I'm trying to do a thing. Jerk boy. Where is he up here? Bibero. So it wants me to catch five of them, so. Fine, you won't die, I'll kill you. Getting in the way, my hunting. Next, tackle attack. Save the snarls for the big man. And I kind of like the drowsy effect a little bit, even if it is kind of uh, a lot of the same of other moves. Which is like, there's a chance your Pokemon doesn't do anything. Go! I uh, didn't get from behind. Strong Snarl. And Swift. Let's try a heavy ball for a heavy boy. Very rude. Fine then. Agile Swift. Ah, eh, kill her. It had its chance. Huh? 
wonder what this music means, or if it has any specific cue. So many angry Pokemon out here. go through there. That's where the Alpha Parasect is. Alright. I would like to head to the Fields Camp. I'm ready to go home. I caught a shiny. Okay, what's well, with the smooth jazz? Kind of disappointing that there's no la la la. Got decent, got decent research level on a few of these too. Hmm. You quelled Le Lord Cleaver, you say? Oh, well done and bravo, my girl. Time to head back to the village report to Commander Commando. 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 Come on. I saw the light fading into the sky. You must have quelled the Lord Pokemon. And what do you have there? Could it be... Ah, oh, those two are fabled plates of old. Please let me have a look. I see there are some letters carved into them. Let's see, this one says, Where all creation was born, that is the being's place of origin. It seems to be a phrase from a very old myth. Where did you come across these? Well, one was from Lord Cleaver. Another was from uh, Weirdeer. I see. So you were given these plates when you impressed Weirdeer and Cleaver. That is quite something indeed. My heart is practically racing with excitement. It is my guess that you will find more plates like these scattered across the Sui. If we were to gather them all and decipher the scripts on them, we may uncover something absolutely amazing. The mysteries of the past, oh, how they tickle my curiosity. What a joy to be alive in such times. Well, I must be on my way. Until next time. I can't summon weird ear in here. <laughs> Truly the worst of fates. Oh, new request. I still don't know where the goddamn cherries are. Like I swear. I look around for cherries, I don't see cherry. Or cherim. Hey you, you are not going to believe what I saw. Hey, listen to this. I saw something out in the wild, so it was incredible. What was it? The thing I saw was a will-o'-wisp, a ball of bright red fire. When I was walking on Windswept Run the other night, it leaped at me like, woo! Add it again with this story, huh? Don't listen to her, man. My big sis always gets carried away from the fairy tales. Oh, for goodness sake, I'm not making it up. I saw the will-o'-wisp with my own two eyes. Oh, yeah? Then why don't you show it to me? <laughs> Good luck with that. Rotten child. Oh, it's so frustrating you won't believe me. I honestly did see one. Say, you're the Survey Corps, right? And I hear you're quite the prodigy. I bet you could easily catch a Will-O-Wisp. Do you think you could catch the one I saw and bring it back here? Sure. The mysterious wheel. Will of the Wisp. Wisp wheel. Willy Louie. Wa la la la. Widdly waddly doo. There's some requests on the blackboard. A peculiar ponyta. Yoda, a fellow of the village, claims to have seen a rather strange ponyta. We must investigate the matter for the good of science. There are no other requests. Sure, teach me. Please be the final one, or will the final one be 10,000? Teach me! 6,000. Ah, no. Can't do it. 
And then I think I should be good on my inventory for a while. I did it, sir. Hmm, well done. I have already received the reports of your exploits. You successfully quelled Cleavor's frenzy, restoring peace of mind to Asuya's people. You are a stranger to us, one who fell out of the very sky, yet you have served the Galaxy team admirably. I admit you have earned yourself some degree of recognition, but things are not settled yet. I've received word that there are other Pokemon nobles falling prey to such frenzies elsewhere in Hisui. So carry on with the research and survey duties and prove that you truly are an asset to us. That is all. You're dismissed. Your fellow survey Pokemon Corps members are likely at the Wallflower. Go join them. I win the day. Benny old chum, the usual order. Three servings of potato mochi, please. Oh, and if there's anything else that you'd recommend, by all means, bring it out. The whole village is gossiping up a storm about our young friend here, you know. She's got quite some luck to have come back unharmed after facing off against the cleaver. I dare say Neon was well prepared, and she was well studied. A quick study of how cleaver moved in battle from what I heard. All in all, it is a very good show of victory well earned. Going to work in the field lands should be feel a lot safer now, thanks to you, Neon. And if you feel even, if you want to feel even safer, try making some of these. Benny taught uh, me how to make them, so I wrote on his directions in a recipe. Smoke bombs, a recipe for crafting smoke bombs from scratch. Caster fern leaf and soot foot roof. Lovely. And now that we need not worry about being mauled by Cleavor either, let's take our chance to study all the Pokemon that call the Obsidian Fieldlands their home. Neon. Hello, small child. Why are you being creepy? I've been waiting for you, Neon. My name's Vesa. There's something real important I need you to tell I need you to tell you. Would you come with me? Okay, odd child. This feels like a dream because of the echoes. Bidoof. Um, this is kind of a secret, but something terrible has happened his happened. Hisui's in a whole lot of danger. Hundreds of years ago, a being that brought calamity to this region was sealed away by someone using the power of strange magic. But now, for some unknown reason, the magic has become undone and the seal is broken. I hate to think what might happen at this rate, so please, Neon, hear me out. I need you to restore the broken seal. Well, tell me what to do. Oh, thank you. I'm so happy you believe me. I just knew you'd be willing to help. This odd keystone is for you. Keep it safe. <laughs> Obtained odd keystone. A mysterious stone that can be used to collect wisps that... Oh. I know that I forget the name of the Pokemon, but... Spiritomb. You want me to fucking kill people and put their souls in this, you know, kid. After the seal was broken, a whole bunch of wisps scattered across the Sui. A hundred and seven of them in total. With the odd keystone I gave you, you'll be able to gather them all. See, the wisps are normally invisible, but not the, to the holder of the odd keystone. I know it's a huge task, but please, you just have to gather all the wisps for me. There's one real close to where we are now. How about you start with that one? See that flame hovering over there? Try touching it. Hello, new collectible. Interesting way to have a collectible, too. Great, I'm becoming possessed. The wisp has been absorbed into the odd keystone, just as it should have been. Let me guess, you're not even alive. You're a spirit your own self, aren't you? Thank goodness I picked you to help me with this. Come talk to me if you ever need help finding the remaining wisps. And one last thing. As you gather more and more wisps, I'll give you some rewards as thanks. I'll wait here for you while you carry out your search. Good luck. A hundred and bloody seven of them. 
in the next day. Wow, the Galaxy Team hairdresser really is, dare I say, cutting edge. Ah, Diamond Clan. Oh, hey, you're Neon, the girl who quilled Cleaver, aren't you? And that's me. I knew it. You got quite the reputation, you know. I mean, you quelled one Almighty Sinnoh's chosen ones. Some people are actually kind of scared of you for doing something so bold. I'm Arezu, by the way. I'm a warden of the Diamond Clan. My special skill is giving haircuts. Real nice to meet you. Oh, snip. But I came here to talk to your Mr. Kamado. See you around. Ah, only rare wares. A fine day to you, my friend. Care to per peru uh, peruse our top-notch selection of rarities? You won't find at the general store. A uh, bunch of berries. Let's see, what do I want to sell? I need to bring the grit dust over and use it all. What about you, Ginter? Sells rare items you won't find anywhere else. Hi there. Got a special product in stock. A Pokeball set. Yours for the bargain price of 1,500. What is it, you ask? Well, that's for you to find out after you buy it. I'll take it. Great choice. I'm all yours, then. 30 Pokeballs. Won't be long before our next great find. Come again, won't you? But I'm gonna go get that grit dust out. Well, I guess I'll come do thing for you, I guess. Ah, just the person I was waiting for. There's a Pokemon I was hoping you could bring me. I've been trying to make a business above offering the groundbreaking experience of having your photo taken with Pokemon. But no one around here seems to understand the appeal. Perhaps they're all just too afraid of Pokemon to get over their reluctance. But I happened to accidentally catch a Pokemon in this photo, and it gave me a brilliant idea. Ah, oh, you want Bunnery? I have a Bunnery. See how fluffy it is? How adorably soft? How irresistibly, impossibly cuddly! Once people see a Pokemon like this in a photo, they'll all want to have their portraits taken, together with it. But I need to get a better shot of it than this one. If you find one, could you bring it here? I already have one. I have multiple. What can I help you with? Here's a bunnery. Impossibly adorably soft. Oh, it's even fluffier and lovelier than I imagined. From that photo, this is it. This is exactly it. Let's get a proper shot at once. Oh, I was able to get just the shot I needed. Thanks to you and that Pokemon of yours. And this should go, to go a long way toward getting the other villagers over their fears and into some photos of Pokemon. New option added at the photography studio. I'm loving this. For some reason, this gives the feeling of Age of Calamity in a way, but for Pokemon. Ish, ish. Some Pokemon only come out at night, you know. I'm always asleep in my quarters by then, but to each their own. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Take one look. A billion requests. These clothes you were wearing when you first came to the village, I can't describe to you the shock they gave me. It's as if I got a glimpse of the future. There's no mistaking it. You're passionate about fashion, aren't you? Definitely. I see. Well, I have the duty of making this village more fashionable, too. Let us study fashion together. You're part of the Survey Corps, am I right? Please, I ask you to lend me your towns. I've been told that Hippo Hippopotatas which can be found around the Crimson Mirelands have different appearances based on their genders. I feel like if you were able to see and compare them, it would inspire me to create new designs for my clothing. Please, could you do that? Sure. I'm gonna quickly go in and grab my grit dust and 
gather up all these requests. Jesus. A secret desperate dust. I know I had it in here somewhere. There it is at the top left. And by top left, I meant top right, because I'm an idiot. Move all at once. Actually, you know what? I think I should probably move... Well, maybe not you. The medicines are more important than the balls. I know that sounds weird, but it's correct. Move all the vegetables over. I keep that, because we're going to sell that. I increased my inventory decently, decently. Cost me a bloody fortune, but what can you do? I'll gather up all these before the day goes down. And these people disappear. You there, valued customer. Wouldn't you rather I had more wares for you to choose from? It'd be nice. That it would, unfortunately. Tao Hua refuses to provide me with any new goods to offer. He won't listen to a word I have to say. So would you try to persuade him for me? I'm sure you'll get somewhere if you bring him some heaty grains as a token of goodwill. Two or three stocks ought to do it, but I'd make it three to play it safe. All right. Now we're getting into the request business. Ah, hey, sport. Interest you in some target practice? All you've got to do is lob some balls and try to pop some balloons. Easy peasy, fun and breezy. Even got some fine prizes lined up to give out. Depending on how well you do, if you manage to break 10,000 points, you'll be in for a real treat, I can tell you that. If you're up for a challenge, just let me know. Oh, you're the girl from the Survey Corps, aren't you? Thank goodness you came along. Could I ask you to fetch a plant for me? I need to use it for some medicine. The plant I'm after has three leaves and a taste bitter enough to make you dizzy. Unfortunately, I don't know where it grows. Try asking Anise from the Medical Corps. She'll be able to point you in the right direction. And, uh, to this way. You're looking at my Pokemon, mister? The bonds between people and Pokemon. Pickle and Pokemon. Oh my, you. You know, you reminded me of somehow of my grandmother. She is always so friendly with her Pokemon, just as you seem to be. I feel that same aura from you, as if, as if you could become true friends with the Pokemon. I'd be interested in seeing how friendly you are with Pokemon you carry with you. I hope you'll come show me sometime. Okay, let's see. How about it? Ready to show me how friendly you are for those Pokemon of yours? How about my... my starter? Look how pleased it is to be traveling with you. You've a true friend here, I can tell. My grandmother was precisely like you. The type of person who could understand the minds and hearts of Pokemon. I grew up watching how she interacted with them, so I have a bit of a knack for sensing how compatible a person and a Pokemon are. If you'd like to, you can keep on coming to show me your Pokemon. I'm happy to inform you that any time they're feeling about you. Rare candy. Alright, that's a cool service. Oh, hey, survey lady. Know what you need to do to a super awesome... Uh, do to be a super awesome member of the Galaxy, Gal Galaxy team? Be wicked smart? Nope. I mean, I guess that's also important. We need to have a partner Pokemon. With a great partner Pokemon backing you up, you'll be as strong as a hundred people. I really want to catch a Pokemon on my own someday, so I've been throwing balls to get my aim spot on. Now that I think I'm ready to practice with real Pokeballs. I bet you have loads of them since you're in the Survey Corps and all. Do you think you could give me just five of your Pokeballs? Yeah, sure, kid. Sure thing. I can make them easy peasy. I can get all that resources from two little trips between a rock and a tree. Woohoo! I can catch a partner Pokemon on my own! Here's a reward just for you, some grit dust. It was super hard to collect, so I hope you like it. If you want to know more about what it does, you can ask Captain Zisu. She knows all about it. Thank you, kid. 
Anyway, I'm gonna practice loads of Pokeballs you gave me. If you find a Pokemon that'd be a great partner for me, let me know so I can catch it. Wait. Ah, target practice. That's what it is. Did I have a harvest going? I forget. Leave that tree alone! Monster! Destroying trees! Oh, great timing. We're done gathering the harvest. Turned out real nice. Four pep up, four bug worth, four vivid or two, and two Kingsleaf. That is really good. Give me some apricorns, please. Hey, you're in the survey call, ain't ya? Just the gal I was looking for. I'm working to make these here fields bigger, but the ground sure is hard to plow, so I'm looking for someone to lend me a hand. More fields means more food, which means everyone's happy, including the Survey Corps. We're all in this together, after all, right? So if you have a ground-type Pokemon, could I borrow it? Do I have any ground-type? <laughs> Just Geodudes. Here, have a Geodude. Yeah, Pokemon will sure be a big help in expanding the fields. Might as well get started. Wow, we! It's turning this gritty old soul and all soft and fluffy like it's nothing. How's it doing that? And seems we're done here. What a trooper! That was some fine work. Any crops we plant here will do. Do great, and it's all thanks to you two. We'll keep your Pokemon here to help out the field work a while longer. Just give a holler if you want to swap in a different Pokemon to be our plowing partner. More fields available for farming. That's actually super cool. I keep forgetting about it, but that is cool. That that's a thing you can do. Hello there, Survey Corps recruit. Hmm. I want to master moves. Can't help your moves if you don't have a seat of mastery. I uh, want to exchange items. What's a grit rock? Ten grit pebbles. Ah. So I guess you can, like, trade grit up. Let's see. Grit gravel? Ten. Ah. I guess let's ask about grit. I've got a question. About effort levels. Raising your Pokemon's effort levels will improve their stats, you see. You can use items like Grit Dust to raise your Pokemon's stats, like attack or defense or what have you. It might give you an edge in the battle you need. What do you need to know? Well, I guess that's it. I guess I'll... Never mind. I'll keep my Grit Dust and see what happens when I Grit a Grit Pebble. And... Well, actually, I'm going to go to the practice field. I have 69. <laughs> that sounds familiar. That Pokemon cry. Line up lots of targets. Pop a Pokeball. You bet I am. I should have read the rules, but... Screw the rules. I'm God.
This is actually pretty difficult. Can I get time bonuses if I do good? Nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. I did not do good, I think. That's something. You set yourself a record. Well done. Fine balls of mud. You gave me mud. Broke through the 10,000 point mark. You get the real prize. Ah, good. For a moment, I thought it was 100,000 or something. Nugget! Nugget. Don't think you've got to stop there. Keep aiming higher, kid. Play on and get better and better all the time. The better you do, the better the prizes I'll hand out. Fucking nugget. Yeah, just it's for selling. Neat. We'll go and we'll sell. Hmm. Actually, since I have five billion requests. The search for bitter leaves. So let's see. I need hardy grains. Eerie apparition. Find the will o wisps. And then catch the mysterious red will o wisp. Speak of Yoda about his request. Ah, he's over there. Teleportation. What was that sound? You hear about my ponytail request, right? Glad to have some help at last. Here's the problem. A ponytail like no one's ever seen before has appeared on the Horseshoe Plains. It looks so different than the other ponytail, it's a little scary to be honest. But when I told the professor, he got all excited about researching it. So he agreed to have the ponytail surveyed to see what's what. If you'd head to the Horseshoe Plains and catch that strange ponytail for us, it'd really help us out. Probably the Alpha Rapidash. All right, now let's see. Still need to find cherums, and I don't know where they fucking are. And then it's just, uh, and I still need to find a big buzzle. I'll check all the buzzle I have and maybe get rid of a few. But first I'm gonna sell my nugget. I'm actually here to sell because I want a nugget and ten thousand. Oh! Really, ten thousand? Jesus, that's more than in the 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 rest of the series. Thank you, my man. Absolutely fantastic. All right. Well, let's talk. It's good to look out for your own health, but make sure your Pokemon are fighting for two. If not, you'll not be able to... Well, well, there you are. You're already teaching the noble Pokemon, too. My being in the survey corps must be tough. But then where's the diddly dee da dee da do dee da dee 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 do Kind of weird that they... Go into number order. I wonder why these are complete but not like grayed out. That's weird. Oh, outside for some reason. Well, what is my main mission again? Go to Kamado? Probably. Yo, Kamado, I'm here because I hear story importance. Hmm, so it's come to the Ursulina as well. 
They suggest that even Pokemon that are not nobles can become frenzied. I have received no word from Adamant or Irida, but this is not something we can simply ignore. In any case, you have my thanks, Miss Arizu. Arezu, you did well to inform us of Ursaluna's situation. No problem. Adamant's got his hands full running our clan and all, and Ursaluna Luna's warden wouldn't even give me the time of day. So the Galaxy team are the only ones I could turn to about this. Rosaluna's warden is Mistress Kalaba of the Pearl Clan, is it not? Of all the wardens, she's the most narrow-minded, <clears throat> bound by traditions. She likely does not take kindly to outsiders meddling in her affairs. I have a new mission for you, Neon. I order you to study Ursaluna in the Crimson Mirelands. I permit you to show your strength if necessary. Sir, yes, sir. The next area you'll be sent to investigate is the Crimson Mirelands. You will find the Pokemon living there to be more fearsome than those in the Obsidian Fieldlands. Even the landscape itself is harsher, with steep ravines and seaside cliffs. It's not welcoming. At your current rank, you should be able to handle Crimson Mirelands on your own. Here's what you need to know. Your destination is a place within the Mirelands known as Solusion's Ruins. That is where you'll find Ursaluna's Warden. Okie doke. I can't bring out my Pokemon in here. Why not? <laughs> my Pokemon deserve. Well, I guess I can buy you from next diddly. How many are you going to do, my dude? How much money? 7,000. I'm gonna get... I'm gonna look and see what kind of moves I can teach my Pokemon by buying them first. Let's see. Because there's like a million things I can do. I can also buy more crafting materials, maybe. I should check out if the crafting place sells feather ball materials now. It would be nice. Hello. Mm, oh, hello, dearie. Shinon sent you out searching for a medicinal plant, did she? That'll be our three-leaved little helper, then. Shinon doesn't know this, but it's actually a Pokemon that lives in the Crimson Mirelands. Poor Shinon will get quite a shock if she finds out, so bring it back to me instead, would you? Best of luck on your search, dearie. Hmm, a three-leaf Pokemon. Nope, wrong one. And then I need hardy grains. New items in the general store. New items at the clothing shop. So I guess I'll go after that first, maybe. Oh yeah, I need to take a look at my buzels. See if any of them are big. Probably not, because it'll only be... More than likely, it will only be a... Alpha Buzel that's taken. But I haven't seen, like... I forgot that I caught you. I hope he's not absolutely destroying things. Check summary. 2-5. Almost. 2-5! God damn it. I think these are, like, all the ones we caught before. 2-5! They're all 2-5! And my shiny boy. Hilarious. Hmm. I want to see. Oh. I want to move you. Ah. Move. There we go. I just didn't know. So you want, then again, it doesn't really matter to check the stats because they're so vastly different stat-wise. I thought I caught two, but I guess I killed the other one. Oh, 
Well, I guess first, well, first I'll put some items away. Well, we can do that outside. <laughs> Pictures of Pokemon. Is that a Rowlet? Oh no, it's a Pachirisu. <laughs> Even Volo went in there with his Togepi. That's cute. Let's see. Ah, that one's blacked out because you can't actually select it. I guess. I don't know. It's This is weird. <laughs> so I need hardy ga grains, which are probably in the Mirelands. But I will... So I'll look for the peculiar Ponyta, and then those two. I wonder what number 21 is. 21? Hey, Neon. Mind helping me train a bit? Sure, why not? That's the stuff. I feel a lot better going out researching on my own if I can beat you. You're not going to be able to beat me. The Survey Corps' Ray challenged you to a battle. Ah, you caught him, Mr. Mime Jr. So did I, but I'm not going to use him. You snarl. Lol. Very rude. Ah, that's a nice animation. But it won't help you. Agile style. Love the music. Victory for me. First drowsy, now paralyzed. The world is clean. Strong snarl. Lol. I'm terribly sorry that my overpowered Pokemon are slaughtering you. Oh boy, Pikachu's gonna be angry with me. Again. He is. I love the Pokemon noises you can hear. Seems right that the one who could defeat a lord would beat me too, I guess. Thanks for that battle. Here, let me give you a new recipe. Stealth sprays. Hoppo berry and bugwort blooms. A recipe for crafting stealth sprays from scratch. You know, lately these space-time distortion things have been popping up here or there. I took a peek into one and saw uh, some tempting items, so I tried ducking in to grab them. But it turned out there were legions of tough Pokemon inside. I barely made it out of life. You be careful around those distortions, all right? Anyway, time to make to make for the Mirelands camp. I don't want to go to the Mirelands camp. Ah, we're just going over the mountain range. Fieldlands camp. I have a lot of Pokemon to look for in the Mirelands. I have Wisps. Oh, yeah. I, did I say Mirelands? I... I meant field lands. All right, we'll move you over. Wait, not you. You. <laughs> and since we have so much room, I will keep out certain things. And then I'll go ahead and use this. Hmm, who deserves it? I would say you. And let me triple check. Uh, dip, and then triple check. Peculiar ponyta. I wish I could throw Pokeballs from the back of Weird Deer. Ah, we don't get experience. Oh, no, that we do. Good. 
for a moment I thought we don't get experience from ca uh, gathering materials with high level Pokemon, but we do. Especially because this isn't even that high level. Peculiar ponytail out here. Is there? Luckily, it's not that Rapidash monster, Alpha. I don't want to be a. Ooh. Oh, it's a shiny! It's an unusual ponytail. Either that or you're a water type ponyta, which would be kind of hilarious. Come with me and you'll be in a world of pure imagination. You got the unusual ponyta. Time to report back to Yota in the village. Later. Let's see. You're all up to snuff. Still that level 40 abomination that we can't do yet, or at least I don't want to do. I only saw Eevees out here once. I need more of them, and there's no breeding yet, at least. I mean, <laughs> I know some people might be like, maybe they don't want to include breeding because that happens in the future, despite the fact that Kurt, I think, was the one that's like, ah, I invented Pokemon. It's like, some dude sometime in the not-so-ancient past claimed. I'll beat you up. Well, you are definitely bigger than mine. Uh, I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna try Heavy Ball, because then he's gonna kill you. I could send out False Swipe! <laughs> Perfect, I keep forgetting that I have that. Or you can just give up. Number caught. Large Specimen! <laughs> Perfecto mundo. Where did I find Eevee last time? I could have sworn it was around here. Ooh, is that a big bidu? The one sad thing is we probably won't ru Well, at the same time, I keep saying, oh, we probably won't run into this Pokemon. Like, I was going to finish my sentence and say, we're probably not going to run into... Uh... Mewtwo. But hey, space-time distortions. Anything's possible. Let's see. Now, getting a hold of new wares, eerie separations, but to bloom or not bloom? A Pokedex for Chirum, but I don't know where Chirum are! And the other ones only come out at night or are in other places. Hmm. I guess I could go do the night stuff for Will-O-Wisps. Like some of the will o wisps and the red will o wisp. It was very weird. I got two will o wisp things at the same time. Now I'm confused. I shall rest until. I guess evening. And then I think in the morning, Shira might will come out and bloom. 
like the guy said. Oh, it's all the way over there. Well, let's go. Let's head down the normal way. I don't want that. I forget that you exist, and I forget what level you are. I'm like, whoa, oh, Geoman! Don't kill me! I'm but a child. We have to wait longer. I came in too early. I could annihilate you. Nope! <laughs> Pokemon, tank the damage for me. Water pulse. I guess while we wait for... I wish I could use my phone to zoom in on enemy Pokemon and get their level. Water Pulse. Surprise! You shall be destroyed. Oh, no, it's still there. I guess I'll beat you up since you're in the way. Still don't have any rock moves. But I can still snarl you out of existence. Here we go, I can investigate. Oh, it's a Chimchar! I'm catching the fuck out of you. What level are you? Level 12. Agile Swift. We don't want to kill. I probably should have sent out False Swipe. I'm an idiot. Ah. I'm so bloody scared I am going to send out my Grass type to face the Doom. Use False Swipe. Lower it down. And now, great ball for a great pal. Booyah. Go back to pay, uh, Pyra. Pyra? And show her the Chimchar you caught. Let's see.
Anything else? There is the eerie apparitions at night. And to bloom or not to bloom. But nope, there's nothing for that. I have to keep them out, and, out looking for myself. What level was the monsters? I think level 30. Like over in the Flero Garden. Yes. Next is waiting till morning to look for them. I don't know where they would be. Before that, I'm gonna take a look, Gander, at you and see what level you are. Considering you're a big, a big boy, I'm going to assume. Level 32. Get out of here. Well, darn, it's up there, and I can't fly yet. And there's the boy. I could almost run down certain enemies. Like, if I just run them over with weird ear, it does damage. It would be funny, but not really in keeping with Pokemon, but eh. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> For a moment, I thought that lid looked like uh, an electric griddle. But let's see. Uh, until morning. And then look for the goddamn Cheerum. Oh, it's raining. Wonder if that'll affect anything. Coming over here for my annual search for Eevees. Because I saw two Eevees got one and then the other one got away. And I'm very disappointed. Because it said they appear on horseshoe planes. But all I see is goddamn wormhole. Hmm. Doesn't help that there's tiny wormhole all over the place. I don't even see any cheer on either. I messed up. I tried to hit. For some reason, my brain was like, oh, that's the jump button. It was not the jump button. The A button is not the jump button. <gasps> Wait, the Cheerum might appear in the garden area. No, that's a Pichu. I need to explore more of the Horseshoe Plain adjacent area. Because again, I don't think I've even run into a Chirum.
I forget there were Pokemon over here that sent me running for my life. Well, that was a bit ago. I thought that might have been a fluffy white poke, well, like cotton Pokemon. No, it's just Cascoon. Oh, one of the cones. Silcoon, Cascoon, want of the cocoon Pokemon. Uh, nope, and there's just a bunch of beautiful eyes. Does not seem to be any diddly dees. No chirums here. Where the bloody hell? I haven't even run into a Chirim, and I guess if... Maybe it's a rare Pokemon like Eevee, because I would say... Oh, maybe it's just not here. Or maybe it's just not as abundant. Because Eevee and Mime Jr. popped up. In this goddamn place. Part of me almost wants to go try my chance at the Rapidash, but only later. It's been a bit. Let me open up my Pokedex and find Eevee. Motions and cries. Keep an ear out for that. But now all the most minorest of sounds are going to sound like that. I think I've caught that much, but oh well. I'll go turn in some of my missions. Um. Hello, Professor. I've only caught three Pokemon. And they're all mission related. But I've still got a decent amount of cash for that, decently. Ah, I guess we completed Pikachu. Neat. I would like to return to the village. Turn in these missions. Because that's for... Oh, my God. I was like, oh, did to bloom or not to bloom update? Nope. Peculiar Ponyta is over there. And then Will-O-Wisp Lady is... There. In fact, speaking of that... Hmm. Do I want to leave someone behind and bring Chimchar in as a nominal? Hmm. I do not know. There's just so many Pokemon that I want. Granted, we haven't run into any that Honestly, I think I'll replace you. 
maybe. Mm, I don't know. Because I kind of want to level them all up. Wish I could swap them right in the field. That would be nice. But yeah, this feels not right enough. It what your red flame did exist. It was just a monkey. Monkey. A Pokemon? But I'm sure I, what I saw was a Will Wisp, you know. Hmm? I should look at this Pokemon at night? Okay, if you say so. I have to wait for the bloody night. That's That's kind of annoying, but okay. The reverb amuses me when I fast travel. I see you caught that strange ponyta. You survey folks, sure don't mess around. You know, a friend of mine from Galar was surprised when he saw a ponyta herds out in the field lens. He couldn't wrap his head around their fiery manes. At the time, I thought it was an odd thing to be amazed by, but now that I know some ponyta have blue flames, it's not such a stretch to think there might be all sorts of them out there. And I'm not just talking about ponyta mind. Who knows how many different colored Pokemon there are in the world? I hope the Survey Corps keeps trying its level best to research them all. And I only got berries. I caught a shiny Pokemon, and all I got for it was these shiny berries. Not even shiny berries, they're just normal berries. Fine, we'll wait till night time, and then I guess we'll go to the Maya Lands. Hey, probably. Oh, hey, the Pokey Doll. Praise the Pokey Doll. I love this game so. He's just so nice. See it at night. Its fiery tail looks like a flaming wheel o' wisp. But that's it. That's the will o' wisp I saw, all right? So it was a Pokemon all along. In any case, you caught it just like you promised. The Survey Corps really are a talented bunch. Now I just have to explain the whole thing to Waka somehow. Can't say I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> ah! Oh, will o wisp No! Save me, sis! Ah! Ah! Never mind. <laughs> you don't have to explain anything. Now you get to torture your brother. Torture him. Torture him. Whoa, wah, whoa, wah. I don't know, I'm losing my mind. And then... I guess we'll go to the new place. Let's go to the new lands, because we can't find a fucking cherim here. If only... This paper Pokedex acted like the Pokedex from Generation 2 so that I could see where exactly the Pokemon are and just not the name places. Crimson Mirelands. Eh, it doesn't look that crimson to me. Here we are, my girl. The Crimson Mirelands. An, er an area teeming with poison-wielding Pokemon and plenty of others besides. And of, uh, and of course I put away my... My psychic type. Oh, well. Seems like you're in for a tough mission. I'm sure you can handle it, though. Oh, that's right. You're heading to the Solusian ruins, aren't you? They're off that way. If you need a pointer, see the entrance. Way over there? Doesn't seem that far away. Seems like it's just down the block. You know, I wish I could tell where, when one of those space-time distortions is going to erupt. I wonder if checking your map would help. Space-time distortions are dangerous places where powerful Pokemon appear. 
However, if you're brave enough to enter them, you might be able to find rare Pokemon and items inside. I'm counting on both of you to carry out your survey work as best as you can. But be mindful of your limitations as well, won't you? If wild Pokemon are giving you trouble, I suggest you go to the training grounds and have Captain Zisu teach your Pokemon some strong moves. Let's go ahead and craft. Go ahead and craft all of those. Say a decent amount of heavy balls, since we have a ton of apricorns. Decent amount of you. Let's see, how many can we make of uh, super potions? Smoke bombs. When thrown at the ground, fall of ground, reduce visibility, and keep all Pokemon from noticing you. Stealth spray. When used in the field, the spray muffles the sound of your footsteps and makes wild Pokemon less likely to notice you for a short time. Create some potions. And go ahead and. Wish there was like a button, just put it away. The ultimate... <gasps> what? What? When did I get a frickin' Firestone? I didn't notice that. But no, seriously, when did I get a frickin' Firestone? Ah. I'll go ahead and hit you again. And let's go ahead and evolve you. You haven't even seen combat. Level you up into your second form. Booyah! Congratulations. It turned into a Inferno. That graceful Pokemon. Hey there, you're that go-getter from the Survey Corps, aren't you? I've got a request for if you've got some time. I'd love to see the Pokemon called Rosalia. It has the gorgeous red and blue flowers for hands. Such a graceful Pokemon. I often come to the Golden Lowlands to admire the Rosalia. But just watching them from afar isn't enough for me anymore. Do you think you could complete Rosalia's page on that Pokedex of yours and show me? You don't want me to capture one for you? <gasps> Ghastly. Well, we're getting new Pokemon right off the bat. Go, Pokeball! Send out to beat you up. You're a ghost type, and I don't know anything that's good against ghosts. Oh, well, I'll send. Uh... He didn't see anything. Go! Ah, uh, I didn't startle him. Jesus Christ. Strong bite! Alright, here's an Umbreon for this. Ah, yes. And I need that for a mission, too. Yeah, that's not a Pokemon, is it? Caster Fern. More bloody diddly dops. Hmm, let's see. New Pokemon up in here. New Pokemon in the form of Ghastly. Number caught. Number defeated. With 
ghost type moves. Times you've seen it use astonish. Hmm. Do did we ever get you shadow ball? I don't think we got you shadow ball. No, no ghost moves. Wait. I thought we got somebody ghost move. That's one we got somebody a ghost move. But at least that's a thing for later. Shadow ball for for the boy. Go! You see nothing. Ah, if I catch more at night. Uh, you're already completed, so I don't need to worry about you. Oh, there's a will o wisp up there on the cliff, but I can't get there because I can't bloody fly. that carnivine I think that's what it's called carna something or other if I catch five at night that'll be a nice boost So much noise. Yeah, carnivine. Why don't you go ahead and turn around? <laughs> Capture just a bunch. That music's happening again. What the hell? Uh, big shapes over here. Uh, a normal one of you. I thought that bush behind you was also a Pokemon. I love that even though it's still modified, there's still a bit of the old cry in there. I love it. Try again. Well, you want to fight? Let's see. Go! Snarl away. Agile snarl. Yay, avoid that attack. Now you get in the ball. Did you? What's that? I'll try my luck. Ah, well, we need to battle you anyway. Well, that's extra mean. Kill it. Oh, 
Oh, uh, it's just an aerial stone thing with a Pokemon underneath. Investigate. Looks like the remains of someone's campfire. Exploring, we can do this way. Maybe. Hmm. Wish I could order. Wish, uh, wish I could order you to turn this on. Why? You don't like me? Get in the ball, Carnivine. Roddy Bastard. Don't make me send out Monferno to tame you. I keep misreading that as hardy, uh, hardy gains. Oh, is this where the guy was talking about them? That's a Cherum. No, it's a bottom. It's a Badu. Would you get in the ball? Then I could probably level you up into a Rosalia. Jeremy's. Quit running away. I'll bean you with a heavy ball. <laughs> you caught it without being spotted. If you want to call it that. Now we have so many other bloody items to capture in this this bloody zone. Uh, go Pokeball! Let's try and capture this one. And then three for three. Jerk. I'll keep throwing Pokeballs at you like a real Pokemon trainer. And that's just another diddly D boy. to explore, but we should probably get on with the story, and then maybe the story will give us more things. Maybe a time-space dilution thingy? Dilation? Dodging is everything! Everything! When a wild Pokemon's lashing out at you and it, with its moves, you dodge right out of the way. While you're dodging, their moves will whiz right by and not hit you. Ah, Dark Souls. Solacion Ruin. Who are you? The guardian of the Ursaluna? I am Calibar of the Pearl Clan. Warden Calibar to you. Oh, now would you look at that. You have a Celestica flute. You must be the one they say fell out of the space-time rift. That's right. He's me. I see, I see. I've already heard about you. 
that you quelled Cleavor in his frenzy. I'm sure many people were saved by your actions, but I wonder if there wasn't some other way to handle the situation. What you did is abs hardly different from bullying a Pokemon into a submission, after all. And you run about catching Pokemon up in those little balls you carry. I don't need any help from your sort, or the Diamond Clan, for that matter. That young lady, Eruzu, offered the help, but associating with the Diamond Clan it just won't do. Be on your way. There is much I must do, and I'd prefer not to be distracted any further. Ah, Neon. How about you show me the strength that could quell even a frenzied lord? <laughs> Gladly. A battle with you might let me experience even a fraction of the power the nobles wield. I feel like this guy is a trickster, in a way. That honestly, he feels like a trickster. That he's like, hmm, that lady feels like you can't help. Well, let me come along and change her point of view. Or just annoy her into submission. Tackle attack. Dark type won't do. Dark dark types won't do. Oh shit. Strong style tackle this time. Get a crit if you, if you may. You'll probably have to swap out. And you got the critical hit with Agile Style. Very rude. Fine then. Robin. Annihilate the baby! I love the echo and stuff. Magic Leaf. Agile Gust. Mm, dragon Time. How oh, did you go twice already? You rotten monster. Strong Style Gust. by me the next move. But I think I prefer killing you now. There's no way that Kabalaba could do her warden duty while we fight. Oh my, you're quite adept at instructing your Pokemon in battle. My goodness, that was fun. Move mastered, yay. Such prodigious strength. Now let me just heal up your Pokemon. Well now, I think that settles it. I must ask your help in retrieving that stolen wall fragment. With your skill, it should be a cinch. Wall fragment? Yes, exactly. Some bandits pillaged the Cilician ruins and made off of the fragment of the wall engravings. Have you not heard of the notorious misfortunes? They're a trio of bandits that have even hit us Ginkgo, uh, Ginkgo, Gil, blah, 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 Ginkgo Guild merchants more than a few times. Not the kind of regulars I like to have, let me tell you. Mistress Kalaba is doing everything she can to regain the fragment, but at 99 years old, it's about hard for her to chase leads all over the place. So what do you say, kind madam? Why not help find the fragment for the warden? Oh, naturally, I'll be happy to lend you a hand. Those sisters swiped my wares, too. And I'm no ginkgo guild merchant if I take that lying down. And far be it from me to let them just get away with vandalizing the precious ruins of this region. You know, I did see the remains of a campfire near the Mylan's camp. Perhaps worth checking out? I saw that, too. Yeah. 
now it's raining. Now, what kind of Pokemon might appear now? Carnivine. Fight! You need to beat up a Carnivine anyway. Ember! That was kind of a waste, my dude. Strong style if you can. Pokeball. Man, it turned. Quit running away from me! I am your friend! Fight! Don't let it even get a chance to get away! It got a chance to get away! the poison. Finish it off with a normal ember. Ooh. This is some fancy music playing. I have to ruin it now for combat, though. Normal fire in back. Now, destroy! up for everyone and move masters <laughs> am I gonna get ambushed I feel like I'm gonna get ambushed It's a burned-out campfire. Somebody must have been here. Now, who might you be? Not some stray traveler for the look of you. There's only one reason people go poking around out of the middle of nowhere. You're after us three, aren't you? Sisters, we should introduce ourselves properly before we show this poor fool how wrong she is was to assume she could even beat us. I bring good luck to my sisters wherever I go, and ill luck to anyone who crosses our path. I'm the eldest, I'll be on your unlucky charm. Thought to be spot uh, thought you spotted a four-leaf clover? Well I'll see have you seen double and the middle sister, and I'm one clover you can't pick. Heads I win and tails you lose. You've got no chance in this game of fortunes. I'm the youngest coin, but I'm definitely not your good luck piece. Why are they Themed so. We're the infamous bandit trio, the Misfortune Sisters, and your luck's just run out. That can't be their real names. Let me handle this, sisters. I'll only hurt her a little. Come on, Toxicroak, let's douse this fool in poison. Now, this is nice. Oh, you, there's even rain textures. You can handle it easily. A normal ember. Set about fire.
That did a lot of damage. It'll get the advantage. But you're going down anyway. Kill him! Very effective. Ah, it even says here what is and isn't effective. Go. That's very rude. Aerial Ace, destroy him. It feels like my starter has a bad combo. I'm not fond of this outcome, but at least it's still better than plowing the fields for Galaxy Team. Ooh, can evolve. Neat. The Galaxy Team continues to spoil things for me even after I've left. Take the blasted fragment and go. Just leave us alone. A fragment that was once part of a stone panel in the Cilician ruins. It has markings carved on it that appears to be some kind of writing. That weird writing on it makes us think this stupid thing was kind of some kind of treasure, but it turned out to be a worthless slab of junk. All that effort wasted. Tell me, why are you even seeking us out? What set you on this path? Want to help Calabar? Goodness, how selfless of you to go so far out of your way for the sake of another. Not all of us have the luxury of offering such unthinking kindness to strangers. For some of us, simply surviving another day takes all that we have. And I've got a score to set off Galaxy Team, which now includes you! Remember what those ancient verses tell us. Why is it in the day of spring, beneath the soft caress of the sun, the blossoms tremble and fall, spirits lashed by uncertainty? Your days are also numbered, Galaxy Fool. I could run them down. I have weird ear. Go ahead and raise you from the dead. And evolve Jet. Fabulous. Had to quickly make sure that Cricketops wasn't a Pokemon that I just hadn't run into yet. I beat up the youngest one. Even if they are my only strong Pokemon against her Pokemon was a Pokemon that was also weak to her Pokemon. Good work. Very good work indeed, Neon. You got the fragment back safe and sound. I'm well aware of Calibur's reputation. They say she's stubborn, too old-fashioned, and so on, but she's given the Pearl Clan all she ever has, ever since she was young. She lived her prime years here in the Hisui region, trusting in the guidance of the almighty Sinnoh. I don't think it's that she hates the Diamond Clan or the Galaxy Team. Rather, I think she simply loves the Pearl Clan very, very much. Anyway, I do hope you're able to calm Ursaluna's frenzy, Neon. A raging Pokemon in the area definitely isn't good for business, I assure you. And I guess let me quickly heal up my Pokemon... Yep. I got your wall fragment. Your legends are safe. Oh, so you've come to bother me again. Well, come as often as you'd like, but it won't change my mind. The wall fragment. What? You went and retrieved the fragment from those bandits. Why go out of your way like that for a complete stranger like me? 
I guess you're that eager to call my saluda. Hmm. Hmm. If possible. I'll admit, I didn't expect anybody else to truly care for Ursaluna. Well then, let's see the wall fragment. And there we go. Good as new. All? Let's see. I'm terrible at reading unknown, even it's just modified. L I G All Lives All Lives I assume that that's a very weird V that should be a G but what do I know T O U something H T O U All lives touch O other All lives touch other lives to create all lives touch other lives to create S O to create something anew and alive. Let me read what it says. All lives touch other lives to create something anew and alive. I eventually worked it out. <laughs> I see. I suppose it means people helping each other, like how you helped retrieve the fragment. I've read this passage many, many times, but this is the first time I've truly understood what it means. Maybe this is Almighty Sinnoh's guidance. What is your name, then, girl? I see, Neon. Please lend me your strength so that we may help Ursa Luna. It's true that Ursa Luna has become enraged, but he doesn't seem to be in an utter frenzy. I think he will return to his normal state if we could just give him some medicine. I could never bring myself to engage Pokemon battle. But that's something I can rely on you for, am I right? Ursa Luna prefers to stay on Sludge Mound. Please, join me there when you're ready. Woot woot. I love when the games include the... Unknown language. I always love the unknowns. Ah, come on, go get it. What the hell? Nightmare, nightmare. What level are you, you giant bastard? Level 45. No. I refuse. I wish I could throw, like, my Floatzel. And be like, hey, Floatzel. Can I count on you? Teach my Floatzel. Surf. I wonder. <laughs> Wonderful music. I love it. What are you? running away. Is it? Might as well take a toxic croak. Ah! 
Ice Fang. How dare you poison my boy? Go ahead and capture a Toxicroak for the road. What? Oh, I forgot that it was moving up and down. Quick, kill it with Ice Fang. Thunderstone! Hell yeah. Ah, Rosalia. Love this game. This feels kind of like what Pokemon should have always been to a degree. Wide open exploration with all these Pokemon to find and interact with. It's like the, your innermost cravings of Pokemon come to be. Well, this is interesting. This is probably going to be a quest place. Probably. What? Oh, another Cricketune. Do we have your Pokedex all set up and stuff? Now, what do we need to do with you? Catch without being spotted, caught in general, and defeat in general. I'll need to get up there again and get that wisp. Come on, be caught so I can fight the other one. Alright, beat up this fool. Kill it, remember! off of tackle. Preserve your ember. Come to me, spirit. Ah. Nice, from, nice of it to tell me. Uh, 
don't want to fight you. What's that? Fucking bastard. Why did it follow me? Oi! Why did it spawn me there? That's stupid! It spawned me basically right decks to death. That is the biggest dumb ever. Fuck that. And I lost my goddamn stone. Yeah, no. Fuck that. <laughs> if I fell into the river on a cliff, don't put me right nanometers away from dying on the cliff again. Dumb shit. Is this a thing or just a thing? It is just a thing. Oop, but there is a plan. When will I get a Pokemon that can fucking go into the water? Wish I could be like, hey, Floatzel, save me. But Floatzel cannot save me. Let's see. Because we haven't actually taken a look around here. There is a request over there, and apparently a request at the Sludge Mound, too. And a bunch of diddly dees. That tells me that that's a danger zone. I died because the rescue system is dumb. <laughs> you died because you ran headfirst into powerful Pokemon. I died because the rescue system is dumb. We are not the same. Level 41 monster, not gonna deal with you. Now let's see again if there's a Pokemon in here. Ah, uh, wants to battle. Never mind. A different motherfucker saw me. Fool. You ugly, you stupid. Give me five hundred dollars. I also like the action bars that come on the screen. Hey, I forgot I got a stun on you, too. Oh, but there's a Tangela. And one that isn't fuck off big, and it's, uh, evolution. Oh, that wasn't a backpack? Oh, I don't know. I wonder if Shyman is going to be in this game. I don't know. I just want a bunch of... I want as many Pokemon opportunities in this style. That's basically it. I guess I could fight you. Back smack. It won't be able to do anything. Beat him up. Oh, I guess it wasn't caught too unaware. Hell. No mercy for you. Uh oh, Yan Mass. Uh, no, no, Yan Mass. Uh. Or is it Yama? It's something Yam. We 
need more Roselias, and I just want to beef up my Krogonk portfolio. Ah, you want to fight? I will. So now floats off. Go, Jet! I don't lose anything on a strong Aqua Jet. Finish him off. Judge the distance. Interesting music too. Love it. Fantastic. Totally wonderful. See, that's why I want more like, that's why I want like Pokemon like Shyman and Mewtwo in this game. Just so I could have these epic moments of, oh my god, it's a Pokemon that I love. Oh, here in this wonderful game. Oh. You're ugly. I don't know why I didn't have a chance to catch you. Ah, fine. You want to fight? I have a float ball. I'll beat you up. But it will grant me advantage later. But why have advantage later when we have advantage now? to sneak up on these bastards. I don't know why it's just standing there. Does it want an honorable duel? Hmm. Now let's send Bunnery out and fight him. Baby doll eyes. Don't know what it changes. Well, that's nightmares. Use a draining kiss. And just finish it off with a strong kiss. A kiss of death! Hmm. Yeah. We 
can get up here. Don't think it meant for me to get up here. At least not that way. What's this rock? Oh. I thought it would be a special rock. It's really not. I don't want to fight you, Carnivine. Go away. Hmm. Cricketune. Ah, so four on reported diddly -dees, so you'll be readied up. What the f Oh, is this the mud mound? No. It's just a giant earth ring. An angry earth ring at that. Wish I could have changed focus to the giant monster. with some of your children. Don't mind me at all. I'm just uh, making off with some of your children. I'm sure you don't mind. I'm kind of interested in what might be in this tree. Ah, different form of Burmy. Agile Swift. Try not to kill it. Yeah, it did. That's when the critical hits hit. And I don't want them. Gather that item. Conding with the children. Oh. You escaped. Quit escaping. Jack, quit escaping! Uh oh. He's angry now. Level 55! Oh no. At least I got a decent amount of Teddy Ursa in there. Where even are we? In hell. That's what it feels like. We're in hell. Oh, a giant Pachirisu. How magical. Oh, hey, perfect timing. Bidoof, and it's back here. Let's check that ruin area. Those ruins are just prime real estate for good Pokemon. Rosalia's. Ralts. I, just, I love it. No, it doesn't seem like there's any have respawned. Pity. Let's see. What about Crow Gunk? Crow Gunk. We'll go all the way down here. Nope. Alright. There we go. Alright. Defeated with a psychic type move. Seen it use move. Different types we've obtained. And then investigate a thing. I don't think we have any psychic moves, sadly. Fight. 
I'll give you a point. Use an agile swim. It seems guaranteed to destroy everything I love. And now we just can't have that. Strong style kiss. Another one of you. I'm not getting close to the goddamn river again. I learned my lesson. I lost a Thunderstone. I could have had a good biggly wiggly ranch if it weren't for the bastards game. He spawned me right on the edge of doom. Ah, Sootfoot Root. Oh god, it's a hunter. Now this is an opportunity. Maybe. Go! Haha! <laughs> what even is this? It looks like mud. Shiny mud. Alright then. Uh Photo, go! Well, that's not a nice thing at all. Oh, I, I thought I... Did I... Uh, my brain is five billion different ways. Kill. I said Floatzel. I met my boy. You want to fight? I'll fight you. I guess we'll just do the snarl. I guess since we're here, might as well try and catch you. <laughs> it looked at the camera like it was on the office. I'm being caught. I do not like this. And my boy, my boy, my boy can evolve. Evolve you may! Booyah! I wish I had uh, psychic attacks, but I sadly turned in my King Arthur a bit ago. I honestly forget which Pokemon I turned him in for. You can't attack me, I'm a magic man. Who are you? Oh! Hippo Dali! Oh Jesus Christ! I didn't see the alpha! I did not see the alpha. Trying to capture you. Aw. Faster. I wish I could target the other ones. I wish I could target the gas please. Fucking bastard. Annihilate him. This is what you get in the grave, mate. You die! 
All right. Now we need to be extra careful because... Oh, fuck. It hurt. Something sees me. It might be him. It might be another ghastly. I don't know. It's him! So we must hide. Because that is not one that we will fight. I refuse. And good job to the boy for surviving. Just all of the everything. But there are the hippotars. See us go! There we go. All the way away. Or maybe you're ever so slightly away away. It's still up for my goddamn blood. Please stop. Kind of annoying that you got out of that. Get in the ball, baby. <gasps> My bonnery can evolve. Uno momente. I think that's a the other agenda over here that we must seek to capture for the mission. You can tell it has different markings. And then we will evolve the girl. What's up? And here we go. We saw an alpha of it. Let us see it for itself. Still love this trend, uh, evolution stream. Oh yeah. <laughs> A freaking heel kick. Amazing. Is that sparkly, Jeff? Every single time I see sparkly, I'm like, time to play America's favorite pastime. Sparklies or fire. Oh God. You see nothing. You see nothing. You see... Is that a gold... Yeah, there's finally a gold duck. I want a swimming Pokemon that can actually swim one of these days. All of you, I'm going to go and get me some more fly ball. And there's a giant roly poly Oli. Ah, oh, what? Ah, oh, that's space life. You get out of here. Even after all that money, I still don't have everything. Profound sadness. Out of everything, I get rid of maybe the Rost Fairy. But I think the item that we could have gotten is dead and gone. It probably didn't fall on the floor. Nope, it's gone. Whoop. Oh, that still hit me. Oh, this is a bad day. And can I use the poison cure? If I even have the poison cure berry. Can I use on myself? Alright, we outran everything again. Come over here and talk to the first. Hello there. So you're the Survey Corps child who quelled the Lord of the Woods, are you? Think you could help us setting up our new base camp? We're making one by the bogs. 
Arodo could sure use some, uh, someone as simple as you. He's fresh construction core recruit, still learning the ropes. Okay. Iron chunk, yay. And another I don't have item in that. Or freaking Firestone, there's always room for a fucking Firestone. Get out of here, Raspberry. Oof, that stench. Whoa there, I'd keep your distance if I were you. Just though, look at those bothers. They're taking up the spot where I was going to set up a base camp. One stunky would be a headache, but this is a group of full-blown migraine. Maybe I can get someone else from the team to handle this. Someone good at battling. Hm, I'll drive them off. Are you sure you're up to this, though? They stink something fierce. Just leave it to me. Well, if you insist. But you've got to beat three of them. So be ready to um, run and stay. Hey, downwind. I guess I'll throw out Blitz, my other fully evolved Pokemon. That's all you want, if anything, that's kind of a nicer outcome. Oh, you can swap them. Wish I knew that before. I did, I swear it didn't have the ZL button up there before. Ah, uh, well, learning, learning, learning. I could have used Agile, but oh well. Shock is baloney. Now let's try. If we can uh, paralyze him, it'll be good. Nope. No luck for me. Go out and tank some. Nope. Wrong button. We're gonna bring you back to life. Quick attack. Definitely going to use one of our super potions on you.
hate Venus Shock. It does so much damage for no reason. Why do these level 20s know it? But it's just like, man, lots of damage. Why? No one knows. for you to get you out of here. Nice to get you out of here. I hate being a shock. Why does it do so much damage? Why is it here doing so much damage? That's the real question. Why is it doing so much bloody damage? I have to use even more revives because everyone deserves a chance of experience from this. Let me guess, Venusuck. Uh, attack is good. Why does it do so much fucking damage? I still don't get it. does so much damage for practically no reason. Stop using Venoshock! It's so stupid! I want to have everybody here for experience! Stop using Venoshock! You little bastard! Question. I don't know who to send the fuck out. I'll just die because of freaking Vino Shock. It better be a five PP move game. Dear God. There's nothing stupider. They're just like, yeah, that's all the point. It's just like, yeah, screw you. Lots of damage. Bring him finally. Now catch this bastard. Why does Venusaur do so much damage? Blech! You aren't kidding, you've got talent. Well, uh, items, I really just got items. I can't believe you handled three stunk here all by yourself without getting smelly. Thanks to you, we can get to the base camp set up now. Hold on a minute. There we go, what do you think? Make things a little safer out there, huh? And there's not a whiff of stunky here either. Stop by any time. <laughs> and he just comes along. This makes a second base camp for us to use in the Crimson Mire Lands. Perhaps some stunky will pop up for fun and games sometime, eh? Wouldn't that be for a treat? And now we can put away a bunch of items. Like you. And you. This firestone so we don't lose it. And you. And you. 
I wish there was like, I want to select all. Yeah, why isn't there a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon system where I can just select all the items that I want to move into the chest? That would be nice. If I could just select, like, use the diddly dee, the, like, the right shoulder button or a ZR button to move all the items that I want over. And then we shall rest just a little while to heal up everyone. Uh, let's see. There is the... Uh, uh, Rezu's predicament. Uh, let's do the Rezu's predicament and then we can finish off on something big. I've got decent Pokemon. Over here, Neon. Ursaluna is enraged, yes, but he must still recall his long relationship with the Pearl Clan. He never fails to show up the moment I play my Celestica flute. Do you have the... The real question is, do you have the... the, the medicine lady? I don't like the sound of it. Oh dear God. Now show your metal to Ursaluna. But remember that Ursaluna is a Pokemon very dear to the Pearl Clan. I will not permit you to catch him. Ah, so we just battle. Good. Hmm. Quick, agile style, baby doll eyes. Oh, and it, it used baby doll eyes, too. Well, that's funny. I guess it's Swift Style Draining Kit. Didn't do that much. Dark. Strong Style Kit. For maximum life sapping. Another one. Keep in there as long as possible. And his stats turned normal, so that's not good. Let's see. Actually, we have a lot of people that are super effective against this guy. Jet, go! Normal waterfall. Maybe we should have gone agile. I mean, uh, strong. Finish him off! Allowed to catch him, sadly. Uh, Saluna, my poor darling, you must be exhausted from running around like that. Come, let me make you all better. I have here a special medicine of the Pearl Clan. It'll clear out any poison in a Pokemon's body. If a poison's what's causing Saluna's rage, this is sure to calm him down. We call it Toxagon. Leg. It's so potent that we can only use it on tough, resilient Pokemon like Ursaluna. There, there, dear Ursaluna, you've calmed down now, haven't you? This is all very strange, though. He wasn't really frenzied. Very astute of you, Galaxy Team recruit. 
You're exactly right. When you quelled Cleaver's frenzy, I could see the strange light rising into the sky all the way from here. But no such strange light erupted from Ursaluna after you defeated him, nor was he glowing. And what is this clinging to Ursaluna's coat? It's some kind of powder. That girl from the Diamond Clan, Erezu. Now why did she, of all people, find the need to come and tell me about Ursaluna, I wonder? Oh, but I almost forgot something important. Play your Celestica flute for me, won't you? Do I get a new summon Pokemon? Ursaluna <laughs> opened its heart and learned well the sound of your playing. Ah, Earth Plate! Yay! Same thing, stone tablet with the essence of power. For certain Pokemon can hold it and become ground. Ursaluna is very good at finding things that are buried underground. We say that he's digging for treasure, even if these treasures might not always glitter or gleam. Now go and let your commander know of what transpired here, child of the galaxy team. You now call Ursaluna and dig for treasure. Ursaluna will rush toward any treasure he senses in front of him. Press the Y button to dig for treasure. When Ursaluna fights a spot that makes him react particularly strongly, you might find something very nice. Dig for treasure. Old verse nine. What? Part of a series of old poems that have unearthed around the Hisui region. Judging from the handwriting, it appears that they were all written by the same person. Sure. I set the bones of Pokemon adrift upon the river. I let my memories flow on adrift upon the river. And to the ocean they will flow, perhaps around the world it go. How many bones and days now gone have I now set adrift from me? How many bones and days to come will I yet set adrift to see? While every gift of, with which I part takes a sil sliver of my heart. Ah, it ended there. Alright, that was neat. No good at jumping, though. I'm looking for treasure, don't mind me. Dig for treasure! Ah, hearty games. You kindly go away, Crow Gunk. Trying to catch other Pokemon. It's like he's trying to cut me off. Are you stopping, you bloody? I'll beat you up with my daughter. He'll aerial ace you to death. Kill. He deserves no help. Chased after us for far too long. But now, we shall make our way back to the ruins. See if there are any routes or Rosalias there. 
And from there, I think we will take a small break from the game. That is in uh, Wait for Tomorrow. Go away, Crow Gunk. Fuck off. Oh, something new. Nose pass. Oh, nope. I thought it was a nose pass. It's Rosalia and Rob's. Go, Pokeball! Dang it. Uh, once the battle. Go, my boy! A light gust. Do not kill if you can. It'll probably kill. Ah, it lived. Uh, at the same time, we need to defeat some of you for the Pokédex, so... At least I got my routes. That's what I care about. And more Grit Dust. Can't wait to turn them all in. I hate Krogunk. It tries and tries and tries to drag me down. Go away, Crow Gunk. No one loves you. You have to get so far away from the bloody things. Item gathering while we're out here. Man, yeah, dire shroom. Hopefully, with all my diddly dees. Hello, galaxy member. Well, let's uh, turn in stuff. Uh, Neon, I think you've got something stuck to you. An unknown! Was that a Pokemon? Well, this ain't the ruins of Alf. Come to think of it, Volo did mention that there was carvings that resembled writing on the walls on the Silosian ruins. But supposing that the Pokemon we just saw is a species of multiple forms, perhaps the carvings are actually likenesses of this very Pokemon. I'm going to add a section specifically for that species to your Pokedex, Neon. Yay, 26. Plus more Pokemon to catch. Aha. What's this now? Letter-like markings seem to have appeared in this section just added. And was that your arc phone I just heard? If a mysterious device is reacting to this new species, I wonder what that could mean. Unknown research notes. Press Y button while viewing the cover of your Pokedex to jump to your unknown research notes. By deciphering the cryptic symbols found in these notes, you can try to find all the unknown hiding throughout this region. These unknown possess a mysterious power that repels Pokeballs containing Pokemon, so you won't be able to battle them. But track them down and catch them all if you can. Ah, so Super Monkey Ball. I would like to move my findings. 11,000! Yay! Oh, it seems you've made some new observations. Let's take a look, then. New observations on Ponyta? I wonder why. Well, at least we completed Stunky, so I don't have to deal with you anymore if I don't want to. And <laughs> almost completed Badu as well. Huzzah. Splendiferous results. I dare say you've earned yourself a promotion to the next rank. Best report to Captain Selene, eh? I'd get right on that if I were you. I would like to return to the village. You know, in a way, this almost feels like uh, Pokemon Naruto to a degree. We have our village. We must go on missions to beat up people. You're back. Get to the commander's office, quick. 
but I want my upgrade. Well, not upgrade. I want my diddly dee. Diddly dee. Diddly dee. Diddly 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 dee. Anything new? Hi there. Got a special product in stock. A raspberry set. Yours for the bark. What is it you ask? Well, that's for you to find out. I don't really like raspberries. Don't really care to gather up raspberries. If you progress to report, I will judge its worthiness. Show me your report. I ran into a bunch of new Pokemon. Beat up a bunch of new Pokemon. I found unknown. Un... Impass? In a... Cave. Well, I know what that is. An impasse in a cave? I know what that is. You made progress. It seems you've earned yourself a star. What, what? With this, you have officially attained the rank of 4th star in the Galaxy Expedition Team. You can now use Leaden Balls. Pokemon up to level 50 will also obey your orders reliably. The rewards you earn will be better too. Have these as well. They are for the recipes you'll need for crafting. Apricorn, Black Tumblestone, and Iron Chunk. And Hyper Potions! Yay! Continue to dedicate yourself to completing the Pokedex if you hope to rise higher in the ranks. I need to see how many Pokemon, well, not Pokemon, but uh, mission dealies I need to turn in. I need for you, not you, because I don't know where each of them are. You. You. Not you, I don't think. I still need to do you, so. Well, go talk to the people. Talk to the commander. And then try and finish up those little dealies. Okay. Amadon's here, but who's the other guy? Oh, it's... Uh, yeah, it's the wallflower. Neon, we have a situation here. Let me explain. Lilligant, our clan's lady of the ridge, is in a frenzy. And Arizu knowingly kept this from me. A Lilligant? Yes, there are only female Lilligant which makes this honored one of our Lady of the Ridge. But this isn't the time for cultural lessons. I'd like to find out just what Ezra, uh, Erezu was thinking, but she's nowhere in Jubilee Village. Last I saw, she was at the Wallflower, polishing off a big old plate of potato mochi. Not that I blame her, my cooking is simply irresistible after all. If Erezu of the Diamond Clan was somehow involved in that situation of the Raging Ursa Luna, of the Pearl Clan, it could lead to the two clans going at each other's throats again! Tell me, Commander, if we do end up in a struggle of the Pearl Clan, what will your people do? We will be forced to remain neutral. Meaning what? If we were to show support for one side, it would put us at odds with the other. We came here to create a home for ourselves, not to take part in tearing the land apart. Right, of course. After all the work you've put in to get us to treat one another as equals and keep us from fighting, I suppose it's no surprise you'd refuse to intervene if trouble were to break out again. Neon, perhaps you have some idea of how we might address the situation. I could call Ursaluna. Ursaluna? So he and Warden Calibur found you worthy. That's perfect, then. Ursaluna should be able to sniff out Erezu wherever she's gone. If you're strong enough that Ursaluna deemed you worthy... Then you should be ready to quell Lilligan's frenzy as well. I'll head to Lilligan's seat, then brave... Then brave arena, it's called, if you'll excuse me. Listen well, Neon. You must quell any Pokemon that could cause harm to the people of history. Always remember, we came here to make a new home where we could live without war or strife. What are you doing? Do I work now? What do you think of that? If I 
game Pokemon to help with work would be amazing. Yeah, we need to go down. If you can carry around even more than that satchel. I have a lot of money, so I might as well. You have so much. You're just bleeding me dry, my dude. Some requests on the blackboard. What a massive mushroom! Wrong. Diddly. Let's see. No, no, wrong diddly. Alright, those two inspiration, well, the inspiration, the general store, and then we'll see if the giant Buzo we got is giant enough for the man. I guess we have to select that. I don't know where Tau Man is, or Tau. -woo. About your request. Here be one. Here be the other. Wah! I never thought that just changing color would lead to such a different impression for the same Pokemon. That definitely inspired me. Give me just a moment. Please have a look at the newest entries in my shop's line. All right. Oh, the dude's in there. Flippity flu. Wearsman. Where are you, Wearsman? He's downstairs. Of course he's downstairs. I'll beat him up. I'll beat him up with my bare hands and my Pokemon. Oh, if it isn't the Survey Corps recruit who quelled the Lord of the Woods. Here's a choice, Aaron girl, are you? Don't waste your breath. I've got nothing to sell to him in his store anyway. Now go on, hurry. Pestering me for goods when I'm already tearing my hair out trying to get hardy grains. Sheesh. But I have hardy grains. They can give you hardy gains. Wait, you've got hardy grains? Would you let me have some? Please, just three stocks. Sure. Yeah, no, three stocks of hardy grains. Ah, hardy grains. The Crimson Mileland's finest feature. The sway of these golden stocks across the landscape, it fills me with yearning for home. I'd wager if you combine hardy grains with other ingredients, it'd bring out tasty aromas that would make Pokemon gather round. All right, I won't send you back a failure. Since you so kindly brought me these hardy grains, tell Troy I'll set up with some new wares. Yeah, I just love this game. This game has so much to it, and I love it. Not to mention, I love the story, too. Because, like, <laughs> there's the mystery of what Arceus has to do with everything. How, why are we here? What's on the other side of the space-time rift? It's just everything. And then everything that's going on with these people. We got new goods in stock thanks to you. I'm sorry you had to do with all this. Tau Hua. Tau Hua. Hu Hua. Yeah. And I had some complications before. But thanks to you, we've got excellent new items. Do buy some. <coughs> Let's see. <gasps> now we can buy even smoke bombs. So, and uh, honey cake, mushroom cake. Meh. Entries. Interesting. And now let's go talk to the Buzel guy. Boozle man! Boozle man! I think I finally have a boozle you'll like! Let's see. I think this might be the bigger boozle. 2.7! Rotten luck. Two point bloody seven. 
I'm gonna go see if I can teach anybody moves. And then I'll see about maybe switching up my team a bit. Ah, I want to exchange items. Gift gravel. I'll take one. Yes, what new moves? Energy ball, shadow claw. Ooh. I think I might want to open up on my move set a bit. Energy ball is an 80 power, which is pretty nice, but I'm going to go with these to open up my variety, especially with my starter. Blitz evolved, so let's see. Ooh, a dark type. Charge beam. But it's only 50 power for 90 accuracy. But it may also erase the stats. We could add a steel type. I don't know. Let's see what Luff Honey can learn. Hmm. Can learn Shadow Ball, Water Pulse. Man, I actually want quite a few of these to raise your variety. Because you're a normal type, so you don't have any, like, aside from fighting, you're pretty out there. So you could do a lot of damage. Let's see. I'm trying to think. Ghost Ball or Shadow Ball. No. Water Pulse, Iron Tail. And let's see which is best. And Drain Punch. And I'll get you Ghost Type just to increase your variety as well. Uh, I think we got to, so far into the game that I think I might start playing it off stream just to like uh, Maybe grind some of the lower Pokemon and the best thing is I don't have to worry about missing out on evolutions Because I can just store them and not have to worry So yeah, I might wander about the field playing on my own time purely to hunt down Eevees and the like Maybe also look for the freaking Cherubs! And just maybe complete some of the Pokedex stuff. For Pokemon we've already dealt with, but... God, I love this game so far. Let's see, is there any mystery gifts from the internet? Are there any gifts? Oh, I already got that gift. Anything in the lost and found? There's a lot of people's... Nope, Maven, Andes, Annies, Norms. So either I'm only running into the same people over and over again. So yeah, might just do things a bit off stream. And only do requests and story missions. And really explore areas. Uh, on stream. Because I'm loving this game and I want to play it more. But yeah, so far... This game is amazing. Love it. The music is great. Just the feeling of seeing a Pokemon you like. Actually, I'm gonna do a thing while I talk. I'm gonna bring out all my Pokemon. Hello. There we go. <laughs> but the feeling of coming across a Pokemon that you like, like Routes and going, Woo! <laughs> It's a route! I can get Gallade and Gardevoir if I wanted. And then the other, at least in the feeling for Eevee, is just like, Where are the Eevees? It's like, uh, I need a hero, but I need an Eevee. Where did all the Eevees go? But 
Yes, this game is wonderful. The music, the flow, the quality of life stuff as well. Because one thing that was really annoying in all, like previous Pokemon games is trying to capture a bunch of Pokemon took a while. Trying to level up Pokemon took a while. But here, if you really wanted to, you could take a team of three high-level Pokemon, a team of uh, three low-level Pokemon, and do still good and level up really well. It's just like, it's so good. The... A lot of people had a worries about the game, like, ah, mission-based and stuff and area-based, but so far, everything is utterly fantastic. Utterly, magically, wonderfully. Harry, <laughs> hello, Mario LC. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me to hydrate at the end of a stream. Once a hydration. Two a hydration. Three a hydration. Ah! Uh, three waterly gulps. But yeah. So far, I just, I love the way this game is. <laughs> you have been terminated from Twitch for reason of too much Pokemon. There can never be too much Pokemon. Mario will come up and clog Twitch's pipes. If you know what I mean. But yeah, this game. Utterly fantastic. Love the feel. I love the graphics. Love, like... Because I think that that's a, th uh, a nice compromise. Like, the only thing that kind of bothers me is the anti-aliasing. But even then, in the moment, I hardly notice them. The only super major gripe I have so far is when I fall into water. And then I try to escape from a monster that's still after me after falling into the water. I fall into the water again. And then I die. And that was my first lost satchel. And I am very aggravated by... Billy Bones. But yes. Still, the combat is great. I finally learned that in multi-battle, I can swap topics, and that's great. <laughs> ah! But I love the feeling. I love, I love all the quality of life stuff. The leveling. The way that you can bring characters in. Or, like, characters, Pokemon in. The fact that... Duh, 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 duh. The only thing that would have been better for multi-battles is if you could throw out your own multiple Pokemon. I would love that. That would be interesting. Let's think. There was another idea. Was, oh, yeah, and the move pool. The move pool is a wonderful quality of life addition. The fact that you can go pay to learn Pokemon moves, and then you don't have to forget them. You just have to basically train your Pokemon to be like, okay, these are the moves we're going to use immediately. It's like, wonderful, great, best, best thing. No more need for the move tutors and move reminder man. And I haven't even gotten to those games in my Pokemania playthrough. Huh. But I love this. This game, utterly fantastic. So fantastic, I'm going to try and do minor things off stream, like find more Eevees! And maybe level up some Pokemon that I might want to use in the future. But yes, utterly fantastic. And a minor aside, here is the picture that I have been drawing, well, drew like two days ago and finally finished and was like, ah, I can share it now. Because I forgot to share it last time. Blah. Because I must plug all my things. Still needs a lot of work in my various artistic skills. But that's the point of drawing, accepting the failure and going on. But other than that, onwards to the outro. I've been Neon Icy Wings and this has been more Pokemon Legends Arceus. If you want more from me, I have an edited content channel that I post to once in a blue year at this rate. Because life is cruel and does not give me time to do the things that I want. <laughs> and it's yes, YouTube Neon Icy Wings. For the archives of these streams, you can hit up YouTube Neon Icy Games. For past playthroughs of things like Pokemon Yellow or Undertale. And then... If you're one of those people watching one of these archived videos on Neon Icy Games, you can watch me play these games live at twitch.tv Neon Icy Wings. And then, if you want things like my journey of learning to art good, then you can watch me uh, post my art to Twitter, Tumblr, DeviantArt, Newgrounds, and Buzzly.art. It's a weird site. 
trying to find art sites supposed to. Most of them are just neon icy wings, except for Tumblr. Icy wings art corner is that one. I finally remembered it. Mwaha! But yes, I've been neon icy wings. Thank you very much for watching. This game is amazing. <laughs> you need to play more Zelda games. Easy. I really do. But I'm just really in a Pokemon mood, and I want to harness the energy. Eventually, a Zelda marathon will come a come around, because I have a lot of Zelda games I want to play. And, uh, like, Twilight Princess, Wind Waker, maybe Breath of the Wild? <laughs> Who knows, maybe what I should do is play Breath of the Wild as one slot, and then have the more linear Zelda games in another slot. <laughs> just... <laughs> That'll that might be a thing. Maybe once Poke Pokemania, my Pokey fever is over. But yes, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Enjoy this not at all repurposed outro because it's like, hey, it's Pokemon, and plus it also has more art from me. <laughs> but thank you very much. Hope to see you next time. Have a nice night, day, or whatever time it is. Bye, bye.